Chapter 331 Awkwardness, Feng Fei Shui. Xiao Chen felt it was strange, he did not know that he had such great reputation. Since this was so, he would make another trip here tomorrow. There was no need to worry about leaving the Dragon Phoenix Cauldron here. However, there was another thing that Xiao Chen could deal with now. He said, this matter is settled then. I still have some demonic cores with me. I wonder if Master Huang would appraise them to transact some business. Master Huang smiled and said, let's make this clear first, are you pawning them or selling them? I'm selling them. After Xiao Chen spoke, he immediately poured three piles of demonic cores out of his universe ring. The largest pile consisted of rank 4 demonic cores, the middle-sized pile consisted of rank 5 demonic cores, and the smallest pile consisted of rank 6 demonic cores. Master Wang's smile immediately froze on his face. He was speechless, some demonic cores. A rough count gives me more than 3000. This is such a large sum. This is probably the equivalent of an entire year's worth of business for the victorious chief. The shop assistant to the side was completely stunned. He thought to himself, fortunately, I did not say anything earlier to offend this person. When he thought of how he was initially prepared to mock this person, he thought it was very fortunate that he did not. Xiao Chen said, Master Huang, what's wrong? Are there too many? Master Huang recovered his wits and sighed, No. No, there are not too many. I will go wake up all the other appraisers. We will give you the results within the hour. Xiao Chen smiled and said, There is no need to rush. I don't mind waiting a while longer. One hour later, Master Huang walked out, looking exhausted. He handed a few pieces of paper to Xiao Chen and said, Young Master Yi, we have appraised all the attributes of every demonic core and have listed the price for each of them. Take a look first, see if there is anything that needs to be added. Xiao Chen received the pieces of paper and looked carefully. He discovered that it was as Master Huang said. Not only did he list the attributes of the demonic cores, but he also listed the demonic beasts each demonic core came from. Furthermore, he was completely correct. There was an estimate beside every demonic core, it even listed the reasons for the estimate. It looked like the appraisers of Victorious Chief were not simple. This was a huge eye-opener for Xiao Chen. This overthrew what Xiao Chen had previously understood. For example, there was an inferior grade rank 4 demonic core that had an higher estimate than a superior grade rank 5 demonic core. This was because the Heavenly Craft Manor had recently developed a spirit weapon that urgently required this kind of demonic core. There were many such examples. The values of the demonic cores were not simply decided using only its rank. This enlightened Xiao Chen. Finally, Xiao Chen looked at the final sum. With all the demons cores added together, they fetched a price of 450,000 million inferior grade spirit stones. When Xiao Chen saw the words, inferior grade spirit stones, he frowned slightly. Honestly speaking, he did not have much use for inferior grade spirit stones, he could only use them as currency. Xiao Chen could not use them when cultivating. At best, he could only use them to replenish some essence when he ran slightly low. If he exhausted too much essence, he could only use medial grade spirit stones, one inferior grade spirit stone was simply insufficient. When Master Huang saw something off with Xiao Chen's expressions, he asked probingly, Young Master Yi, are you not satisfied with the price? Xiao Chen shook his head and said, Number, 450,000 inferior grade spirit stones is a very good price. Only, I wonder if we can exchange medial grade spirit stones instead. When Master Huang heard this, he said in a low voice, it is possible. However, young Master Yi must be clear on this. Although inferior grade spirit stones are not very useful to medial grade martial saints and above, they are still the basic currency for the high levels within the continent. 
Their value is stable and will not fluctuate much. What Master Huang said was not wrong. In the auction at the Zaihe City's auction, they used inferior grade spirit stones as the common currency as well. When Xiao Chen thought about it, there should not be many changes elsewhere. Master Huang continued and said, if you exchange inferior grade spirit stones for medial grade spirit stones, you will suffer a great loss. Young Master Yi, you should consider this carefully before making a decision. Xiao Chen had already suffered such a loss at the Zaihe City's auction. In order to purchase secret treasures, he had to exchange medial grade spirit stones for inferior grade spirit stones. If Xiao Chen had prepared sufficient inferior grade spirit stones in advance, such a situation would not have occurred. However, Xiao Chen had a pressing need for medial grade spirit stones. He felt that it would be very useful in the future. If he had the opportunity, he should exchange for medial grade spirit stones. Xiao Chen asked, give me a number. How many medial grade spirit stones are these 450,000 inferior grade spirit stones worth? Master Huang answered directly, at most, 3,000. Furthermore, this is on account of your friendship with Miss Feng, giving you a discounted price. One medial grade spirit stones was worth 100 inferior grade spirit stones. Of course, this was only referring to when medial grade were exchanged for inferior grade spirit stones. If it were the reverse, inferior grade spirit stones for medial grade spirit stones, one would be happy to get one medial grade spirit stones for 200 inferior grade spirit stones. Hence, the price Master Huang offered was very good. Furthermore, it was more than what Xiao Chen initially expected. Xiao Chen set down the pieces of paper detailing the demonic cores and smiled. He said, thank you Master Huang. 3000 medial grade spirit stones was a very large sum. They had to go through many procedures before Xiao Chen could get his hands on them. Xiao Chen waited for a total of 4 hours before he finally received 3000 medial grade spirit stones. Adding to the remaining 5,000 odd medial grade spirit stones in his universe ring, Xiao Chen now had a total of 8,000 medial grade spirit stones. This was a horrifying wealth. The things Xiao Chen came to do were more or less settled. All that remained was meeting Feng Feishui the next day. By the time Xiao Chen pushed open the pawn shop's doors, the dark sky had already grown bright at the east side. The light of dawn was about to break through the darkness of night. There were already some people on the streets. These were ordinary people who came out early to start their businesses. There were no traces of cultivators yet. Xiao Chen revealed a peaceful smile as he slowly walked back to the inn. His footsteps were neither fast nor slow. As he heard the mundane banter of the people around, his mental state slowly calmed. By the time Xiao Chen reached the doors of the inn, a red sun appeared on the horizon, breaking the monotony of the night cover. Xiao Chen slowed and looked up. The rising sun was very bright, but it was not overly intense or glaring. Ordinary people could look at the sun only during this time. Xiao Chen was deep in thought, he was like this blazing red morning sun. His future was bright. Perhaps he might not be as radiant as the blazing sun of midday, but his future was full of uncertainties. Since the ancient times, there were countless outstanding talents. They died as they rose up, falling from great heights. The road ahead was bumpy, and one had to be cautious. As Xiao Chen was deep in though, a waiter at the inn opened the doors. He collected his thoughts and walked in, despite the waiter's astonished gaze. Strange, didn't this person stay in the entire night? How did he come in from outside in the morning? The waiter muttered as he watched Xiao Chen. After Xiao Chen went to his room and washed up, he immediately went to the bed and started cultivating. Xiao Chen had already halted on the fifth layer of the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation. After the third layer, the cultivation of the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation became more difficult. 
However, each time Xiao Chen broke through a layer, his strength experienced a qualitative change. When he broke through to the third layer, his purple thunder true fire formed an origin flame. When he broke through to the fourth layer, the might of his purple thunder true fire improved, and the origin of thunder contained within became even more pure and dense. Xiao Chen wondered what kind of surprises he would receive when he broke through the fifth layer. He hoped that the purple thunder true fire would be able to store more energy, and its might would improve again. Xiao Chen cultivated until dusk. Then, he slowly opened his eyes. He waved his hand, and the remnant purple electricity that resulted from his cultivation gathered at this right hand and turned into a ball of blazing purple flames. The purple flame slowly permeated into Xiao Chen's palm. Then, it flowed along the meridians in his arms before gathering back in the origin flame in his right eye. After not eating for the entire day, Xiao Chen was slightly hungry. So, he prepared to go downstairs to eat a big meal. Regardless of which inn or restaurant, dusk was their busiest time. After waiting for a long time on the second floor, Xiao Chen finally got an empty table by the window. Did you hear? Something big happened in Dongming province again. It will probably shake the entire Great Qin nation. While Xiao Chen waited for food to arrive, he overheard the discussions of some cultivators. Another person continued, Ha ha! What can be so big? Is it bigger than Xiao Chen fighting the various noble clans a year ago? Xiao Chen! That is in the past. This person has not appeared for a year. I believe that since several noble clans pursue him, he either left the Great Qin Nation or hid in the wilderness and changed his name. Where else in the Great Qin Nation does he have a place to settle? There are wanted posters of him posted by the major powers everywhere in Dongming Province, Xihe Province, Nanling Province, and the Royal Courts. That is true. Tell us, what in the world happened? Someone asked interestedly. The person who spoke first took a sip of wine before saying, you all know of the matters where, one month ago, Duan Mu Qing gathered outstanding talents from various places. Based on some reliable news, they had done so for the sake of a dragon phoenix cauldron left in a fire Li sect remnant. Furthermore, they managed to find it. In the end, a nameless fellow from the Heavenly Saber Pavilion defeated the rest of the outstanding talents before snatching this cauldron away. Is that true? The Dragon Phoenix Cauldron is an legendary item. Another one was actually discovered, the others exclaimed in shock. When Xiao Chen heard this, he frowned slightly. He thought to himself, it looks like the Dragon Phoenix Cauldron is a really hot potato. I will probably receive some pressure when I go back to the Heavenly Saber Pavilion. Those people continued chatting, but Xiao Chen did not have the desire to continue listening. He quickly finished his meal and returned to his room to cultivate. Time went by quickly while Xiao Chen cultivated. When he opened his eyes, the sky was completely dark. When Xiao Chen opened the window, the outside was pitch dark. There were many people walking along the street. Xiao Chen carried his lunar shadow saber and quietly jumped out, heading to the victorious chief. Xiao Chen remembered that, the last time he met with Feng Feishui, it was in Dongming City as well. It seems like Dongming City had some special predestined affinity with the two of them. Xiao Chen executed the Azure Dragon Cloud Soaring Art to the limit. Soon, he arrived before the victorious chief Pan Sha. The situation was different this time, there were no strong auras scanning him. The moment he walked up the steps, the door opened. Master Huang stood there, smiling. He said, Young Master Yi, please come with me. Miss Feng has been waiting for you. Xiao Chen gently nodded and followed Master Huang to a guest room on the top floor of the victorious chief. When they arrived at the door, Master Huang tactfully left. After Xiao Chen calmed himself, he gently pushed the door open. The instant the door was open, he could see a cross-dressed Feng Feishui with a folding fan in her hand. 
She looked like the same as she had in the past, there were no visible changes, her temperament was the same as before. Her fine black hair was bundled up together. Being dressed in men's clothing gave her delicate face a distinctive flavor. It was very graceful and outstanding. Xiao Chen tried sensing Feng Feishui's cultivation, and discovered that she was a peak superior grade martial saint. This surprised Xiao Chen. Feng Feishui had a gentle smile on her face. As Xiao Chen was measuring her up, she was also carefully observing Xiao Chen. When Feng Feishui saw Xiao Chen this time, she felt Xiao Chen's temperament to be more stable and withdrawn. Furthermore, there was a trace of an aura she could not understand, it was very mysterious. The two of them walked to the table and sat across from one another. Feng Feishui picked up the teacups and poured a cup of tea for him. She said softly, it's been a long time. Your strength has increased again, congratulations. Xiao Chen received the teacup and took a sip. Then, he followed up on the topic, you are the astonishing one. Despite running around the continent, your cultivation is still higher than mine. Feng Feishui smiled and poured a cup of tea for herself. Then, she changed the topic, this is the first time you have come looking for me so urgently. I rushed over through the night from the imperial capital. What's the matter? Xiao Chen had too many things he wanted to ask Feng Feishui. However, now that he was before her, he did not know where to start. Xiao Chen put down the teacup and organized his thoughts first. Then, he said, after some time, I might possibly leave the great Qin nation. Can you tell me why you sent Ying Yu to bring me to the imperial capital a few months ago? If I am able to help you, I will definitely do all that I can. However, if I leave the great Qin nation, I might not come back for a long time. Feng Feishui smiled and felt a slight warmth in her heart. She did not expect Xiao Chen to remember his promise when he was about to leave the great Qin nation. Indeed, with your strength, you should go and undergo some experiential training. There is no need for you to worry about our agreement. No matter how far away you are, I will be able to find you at the fastest time, Feng Feishui said softly. It looked like Feng Feishui was still not willing to tell Xiao Chen her secret. That was fine for Xiao Chen, so he did not press on. He continued asking, how is cousin Yulan doing in the Heavenly Qin School? When Feng Feishui heard Xiao Yulan's name, a complicated look appeared in her eyes. She said, she has received your flowing light flower. Now, she is doing her best to cultivate. She places strict requirements on herself. She has shown high talent and an elder of the Heavenly Qin School has already accepted her as a disciple. When Xiao Chen heard news of Xiao Yulan doing well, he relaxed a little. After that, the two of them continued chatting for a long time before he mentioned the matter of the Dragon Phoenix Cauldron. Feng Feishui hesitated for a while before saying apologetically, the Feng clan does indeed have the method for refining secret treasures. However, this is a top secret level piece of information. Only the clan head has it. Even I myself do not know. Xiao Chen felt surprised at this. However, when he thought about it, it made sense. If a clan grasped the method to refine secret treasures, the strength of that clan would definitely soar. Such an important secret would definitely be held in the hands of the clan head. Otherwise, if it leaked out, the consequences would be dire. As for whether there was some other reason for Feng Feishui and her difficulties, Xiao Chen did not care. All along, he did not like forcing others. Furthermore, she had already helped him sufficiently. Just the heaven rank movement technique, the azure dragon cloud soaring art, had saved Xiao Chen's life at many crucial moments. It was more valuable than priceless treasures, there was nothing more he could ask of her. Feng Feishui said, I am really sorry about this. However, when you leave the Dragon Phoenix Cauldron with the Feng Clan, I can pay rent to you on a daily basis. Every day would be 10 medial grade spirit stones, until you take it away. 
Xiao Chen waved it off and said, Don't say that. Just take it as I'm storing it in your Feng clan. If it were left on my hands, it would merely be a hot potato. As far as Xiao Chen was concerned, this was really the case. If he could place it in his universe ring, it would be fine. However, he was not able to. So, it was very inconvenient. The two continued chatting for some time. Feng Feishui spoke about some strong experts she had seen in the various nations, as well as strange martial techniques. All of this was an eye-opener for Xiao Chen, causing him to look forward to visiting them. In the end, just as Xiao Chen was about to leave, he could finally no longer resist and voiced out a doubt in his heart, Feng Feishui, I have always wanted to ask you this, why are you so good to me? During the first time they met, Feng Feishui wanted to give Xiao Chen the Azure Dragon Medicine Cauldron. The second time they met, she invited him to study at the Heavenly Qin School. The third time they met, she directly gave him a heaven-ranked martial technique. After that, Xiao Chen had caused so much havoc and Feng Feishui helped him care for the Xiao clan and dealt with the aftermath for him. Then, she asked Ying Yu to invite him to join the Imperial Dragon Legion wanting to help him regain his true identity, one that surpassed that of a normal person. Each and every one of these incidents resulted in a great debt of gratitude. Yet, Feng Feishui helped him unconditionally. This caused Xiao Chen to feel a strange suspicion. There was no such thing as unconditional love in this world, nor was there hate without a reason. For every result, there was a cause. A stunned expression appeared on Feng Feishui's pretty face. However, she was not too surprised. She had anticipated Xiao Chen's question long ago. When Feng Feishui looked at the resolute gaze in Xiao Chen's dark eyes, a melancholic expression appeared on Feng Feishui's delicate face. She said, helping you is equivalent to helping myself. As for the specific reason, it is really not convenient to tell you now. Wait till you can truly control your own fate, then the answer will appear on its own. It seems like Feng Feishui was still not willing to tell him the reason, the secret of why the Azure Dragon disappeared, or why Xiao Chen had to be chased out of the clan. These secrets had been bothering Xiao Chen for a long time. It seemed like it would be rather difficult to obtain these answers from Feng Feishui. What did, truly control his own fate? mean? Were he and Feng Feishui not controlling their own fate now? Seeing the silent Xiao Chen, Feng Feishui said gently, if you really want to know, you can make a trip to the imperial capital. However, I hope that before you go, you will have obtained absolute strength. Otherwise, even if you go, your fate will end up being controlled by someone else. As the final inheritor of the Azure Dragon Martial Spirit, your existence threatens the benefits of too many people. The dangers involved are akin to having great perils at every footstep. Back when your father chased you out of the Xiao clan, one of the main reasons was the implications of these benefits. This would be unbearable, even for the entire Xiao clan. All you can do now is become stronger, and then, become even stronger. There is no other path you can take. Feng Feishui's words caused Xiao Chen to feel a slight headache. It concerned the existence of the Azure Dragon Martial Spirit. Xiao Chen had always had a vague guess. The power that the Azure Dragon contained was far greater than he had imagined. However, he had never dared to think too deeply about it. Xiao Chen had even downplayed the relationship he had with the Azure Dragon Martial Spirit. This was because with great power came great responsibility. Xiao Chen was merely an ascendant. There was no need for him to get involved with all this scheming and plotting. Xiao Chen only had to live for himself. He just had to slowly walk the path of a cultivator, taking step after step to the peak. However, Feng Feishui's words verified some of Xiao Chen's guesses. Since the day Xiao Chen condensed the Azure Dragon Martial Spirit, whether be it actively or passively, willing or unwilling, he had already been dragged into these matters. No matter what he did, 
he would not be able to escape. Xiao Chen picked up the teacup on the table and emptied it in one gulp. Then, he placed the teacup back on the table. He calmed down and said, regardless of the truth, I will live for myself and the people I care for. Fate is something that has to be fought for by myself after all. The kindness you showed me, I will pay it back in the future. I will not shrink away from this duty. Goodbye. After Xiao Chen spoke, he immediately left. As Feng Feishui watched Xiao Chen leave, there was an astonished expression on her face. After a long time, a secret door opened in the living room. A beautiful lady wearing red robes appeared there. This beauty was very elegant. She was about 30 years old, but with her exquisite face looked like she was 18 or 19. Age did not leave any of its marks on her face. If one looked carefully, perhaps one would discover this lady somewhat resembled Xiao Chen. When Feng Feishui saw this beauty, she said softly, Aunt, he was just right before you. Don't you want to meet him? A heartbroken look appeared in this lady's eyes, the corner of her eyes seemed slightly wet. She said softly, there is no need. I owe him too much. It is enough for me to be able to hear his voice. Feng Feishui walked to the window in that high floor room. She looked outside and watched Xiao Chen, who had turned into a beam of purple light and was moving very fast. She said, I believe he is the person I am waiting for. I will do my best to resist the decision father and the elders made. We have already held up the agreement for a thousand years, naturally, we have to continue passing it down. There was still one more thing in her heart she did not say. It was as Xiao Chen had said, fate is something that has to be fought for by myself, after all. The person Feng Feishui addressed as aunt looked at Feng Feishui before her. The younger woman reminded her of herself in the past as she let out a long, drawn-out sigh. After Xiao Chen left the victorious chief, he rested in his inn for two days and started to complete the remaining black rank sect missions. While Xiao Chen was completing the missions, he heard the news Feng Feishui spread. The Dragon Phoenix Cauldron had landed in the hands of the Feng clan, and they invited everyone to come and take a look. When Xiao Chen first heard this news, he was slightly stunned. However, he understood the reasons behind it. Feng Feishui and pulled over all the attention that was placed on Xiao Chen onto the Feng clan. The Dragon Phoenix Cauldron was a hot potato that attracted everyone's attention. No matter where Xiao Chen went, close attention would be placed on it. Furthermore, such attention would be filled with malicious intent. Xiao Chen could only escape from it if he delivered the Dragon Phoenix Cauldron to the Heavenly Saber Pavilion, and had the protection of a strong power. By doing this, Feng Feishui had helped Xiao Chen immensely. One month later, Xiao Chen had completed all the high-leveled missions that he had taken. He started to make his return to the Heavenly Saber Pavilion. Without any missions delaying him, he was able to return to the Heavenly Saber Pavilion in half a month while moving at full speed. When he arrived, he immediately headed for the Hall of Contributions on the Heaven Viewing Platform. On the second floor of the Hall of Contributions, the person who checked the missions verified all the mission contracts Xiao Chen handed over. I did not expect for you to be able to complete all the black rank missions within three months, the attendant of the Hall of Contributions said in astonishment when he finished checking the contracts. Xiao Chen smiled faintly and did not say anything else. He had only picked out these missions after careful calculations and cautious consideration. Without absolute confidence, Xiao Chen would not have taken so many high-leveled missions in one go. Here is a total of 30,000 contribution points. Please count them, the clerk said enviously. Even after working in the Hall of Contributions for so many years, this was the first time he had seen someone obtain so many contribution points in one go. Xiao Chen received them calmly and gave his thanks. After that, the attendant behind Xiao Chen said, 
Yi Chen, the first elder said to find some time to look for him after you came back. Xiao Chen stopped and turned around. He asked, is it urgent? The attendant said, not really. He specifically instructed me to say to go when you have time. If you don't, then never mind. As that attendant was speaking, he was looking at Xiao Chen enviously. One must know that the first elder was currently the true decision maker of the Heavenly Saber Pavilion. The attendant had never seen the first elder being so courteous before. He could only say that Xiao Chen's potential was highly looked upon. Xiao Chen nodded slightly and started leaving again. He could more or less guess the reason why the first elder, Zhang Kai, was looking for him. Since it was not urgent, then he would put it aside for now. After Xiao Chen finished handing in the missions, he immediately rushed toward Qingyan Peak. In the entire Heavenly Saber Pavilion, that was the only place that gave him a sense of belonging. As Xiao Chen slowly climbed the steps of Qingyan Peak, he looked at the familiar scenery around him. He felt a certain warmth he had not felt in a long time in his heart. When Xiao Bai, waiting inside the Spirit Blood Jade, felt the surrounding environment, it immediately came out. It leapt up on Xiao Chen's shoulder and stretched its four limbs, it looked incredibly cute. Big Brother Yi Chen, when did you come back? Xiao Yang and Xiao Meng, who was preparing to go down the mountain, suddenly saw Xiao Chen. They ran over joyfully. Xiao Chen was on close terms with Xiao Yang and Xiao Meng. When it saw the two of them, it immediately stood up on his shoulder and greeted them with, yi ya yi ya, sounds. This made the two of them laugh. Xiao Chen smiled helplessly and put Xiao Bai down. He nodded and said, I have just arrived. How are elder sister Ruyu's injuries? Xiao Meng was playing with Xiao Bai when she heard Xiao Chen's question. She looked up and smiled, you will know when you see for yourself. You will be pleasantly surprised. Xiao Yang and I have to go down the mountain now. Based on Xiao Meng's tone, it seemed like Lu Ruyu's meridian injuries were completely healed. However, Xiao Chen felt very curious at what that so-called, pleasant surprise, was. Xiao Yang, who was standing to the side, smiled and said, Big Brother Yi Chen, you should go quickly. When elder sister Ruyu sees you, she will definitely be very happy. She has been in the dueling grounds for the past few days. Xiao Chen nodded gently and said goodbye to the two. Then, he increased his speed and moved quickly toward the dueling grounds. Before Xiao Chen got close to the dueling grounds, he felt a strong aura. Furthermore, he was very familiar with this aura. Xiao Chen stopped outside the dueling grounds and muttered, this is the aura of a martial king. Furthermore, it is extremely pure. Did elder sister Ruyu make her breakthrough? It looked like that should be it. There was only a thin line between Lu Ruyu and the martial king realm previously. Now that she was remade by the tendon refining flower, she should have made her breakthrough. Furthermore, this experience would propel her directly to peak inferior grade martial king. Even some old martial kings would not be an opponent for her. For a very long time, one of the main reasons why no one was willing to come to Qingyan Peak was because there were no martial king holding it down. It now looked like this would be a thing of the past. Xiao Chen sincerely felt joy in his heart. He quickly and impatiently walked into the dueling grounds. Boom, boom, boom. Within the dueling grounds, strong waves of energy were exploding continuously. Lu Sufeng and Lu Ruyu were exchanging moves. However, Lu Sufeng looked like he was in a somewhat miserable state. In better words, he was more like a punching bag. Sis, there is no need for you to hit so hard. I am your brother. Lu Sufeng begged as he kept dodging Lu Ruyu's attacks. Bang! Lu Ruyu said calmly, if jade is not cut and polished, it cannot be made into anything. If you cannot even withstand this little bit of suffering, how can I hand Qingyan Peak over to you in the future? 
Lu Ruyu brandished her scabbard and knocked away Lu Sufeng's saber. The scabbard struck Lu Sufeng's wrist heavily, causing him to shout in pain. Suddenly, Lu Sufeng glimpsed Xiao Chen standing outside. His eyes lit up joyfully as he cried out, Sis, Yi Chen is here. You can stop now. Lu Ruyu directly struck Lu Sufeng's chest and smiled faintly, You are using this to trick me again. Trying to be lazy, it's useless now. It was so painful, Lu Sufeng could not bear it. He coughed a few times and said, Sis, it's real. Look outside. Although Lu Ruyu did not believe him, she could not help but turn her head to look. She immediately saw Xiao Chen standing calmly outside. The movement of her hands immediately stopped. Lu Sufeng took advantage of this opportunity to leave the fight, quickly running toward Xiao Chen. Yi Chen, you finally come back. If you were any later, my sis probably would have beaten me to death, Lu Sufeng said bitterly as he clapped Xiao Chen's shoulder. Xiao Chen was knocked back three steps by Lu Sufeng's slap. This showed how enthusiastic he was. Xiao Chen stabilized himself and smiled, you should be celebrating instead. Look at this, your strength has clearly improved significantly. Lu Sufeng smiled in embarrassment and said mysteriously, just so so. I am far inferior when compared to you. I will leave first, you will be receiving a pleasant surprise later. Xiao Chen felt it was strange, why was everyone talking about a pleasant surprise? What exactly is the pleasant surprise? Lu Ruyu gently leapt down from the arena in the dueling grounds. Her tight red robe clung to her seductive figure as she walked over to Xiao Chen slowly. Lu Ruyu's graceful face had a hint of embarrassment on it. She seemed to have a nervous expression. However, she seemed to have made a certain decision in her heart as she walked over to Xiao Chen. Bo. Before Xiao Chen could react, Lu Ruyu's tender lips quickly pecked on the side of this mouth. This action was very quick, like a dragonfly touching the water, it was a superficial contact that was withdrawn at first contact. Outside the dueling grounds, Lu Sufeng, Xiao Yang, and Xiao Meng, who were all supposed to have left already, were gathered there. They were all watching this scene without blinking. Haha, my sis is really daring. However, she managed to do what she said. I like it. Lu Sufeng was laughing at the side. Xiao Meng giggled and said, however, she does not seem to have any experience. There was just a light peck and nothing else. Xiao Yang laughed, ha ha. Does she have any experience in the first place? This is her first time. During her first time, Yi Chen was the one taking the initiative. We should go now. Otherwise, elder sister Ruyu will come raging at us. Xiao Bai, who was behind the three of them, was looking at the two in the dueling grounds strangely. Its eyes were filled with doubts. The moment Xiao Yang spoke, Lu Sufeng and Xiao Meng both reacted. Xiao Meng carried the doubtful Xiao Bai and quickly fled. Is this the so-called pleasant surprise? Xiao Chen thought to himself. His delicate face blushed slightly. Although this was not his first time kissing Lu Ruyu, he did not know what to do. During the previous time, both of them were the passive parties. It was different this time. This time, Lu Ruyu initiated it. A ripple appeared in Xiao Chen's usually unmoving heartstrings. Xiao Chen's words did not come out smoothly as he said, Elder Sister Ruyu, what are you doing? When Lu Ruyu saw Xiao Chen being so embarrassed, her own embarrassed expression turned into an unrestrained one. She laughed loudly and said, this is your reward. Thank you for your tendon refining flower. If it were not for your tendon refining flower, I would be a cripple today. I would not have been able to break through to Martial King. Was it only to thank me? Xiao Chen felt slightly disappointed inside. He said softly, that is something expected of me. It was merely a coincidence that I obtained the tendon refining flower. This fellow is really not tactful, Lu Ruyu thought depressedly. Never mind, 
This blockhead quality of his is not going to change. Lu Ruyu held Xiao Chen's hands and said softly, let's not speak about this. Let me bring you to see something. Xiao Chen followed her with some slight suspicions. They went to a corner of the dueling ground and Lu Ruyu let go of Xiao Chen's hand. She said, it is this, take a look. There were many plain sabers stuck in the ground. The sabers had an ancient aura coming from them. The thousands of sabers were arranged in a profound and complicated formation. The ancient aura of the sabers was connected together. When Xiao Chen stood in front and closed his eyes to feel it, a huge army of thousands of horses and men appeared before him. Their killing chi was surging, pouring over him. Kill. 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 The scarlet throne between his eyebrows trembled continuously. Xiao Chen opened his eyes and said in shock, this is a miniature ancient absolute saber formation. However, why do I feel that it is different from before? The ancient aura is even denser. The killing chi contained within it is not on the same level as it was before, as well. Lu Ruyu revealed a satisfied smile. She said, you guessed right. Each saber here has a history of at least 10,000 years. They were truly ancient weapons. The ancient absolute saber formation assembled this time will definitely help you to comprehend listening to the sword and communicating with it. Xiao Chen felt incredibly grateful in his heart. For Lu Ruyu to find so many ancient sabers, she must have spent a lot of effort. Xiao Chen knew from Lu Sufeng that Lu Ruyu had owed Lu Chen a great favor when she borrowed the ancient sabers the last time. This time, she obtained so many more extremely ancient weapons, the price she paid must have been even higher. Actually, Lu Ruyu also knew that the moment Xiao Chen comprehended listening to the sword and communicating with it, it would indicate the moment he would leave Qingyan Peak. Even so, Lu Ruyu still helped him without asking for anything in return. Xiao Chen felt it would be difficult to bear such a favor. Xiao Chen said sincerely, Ruyu, thank you. I promise you, no matter what, I will obtain the top spot in the Inner Disciple Ranking War at the end of the year. The end of year ranking war, this would be the last thing Xiao Chen would do for Qingyan Peak while he was at the Heavenly Saber Pavilion. It is only this way where he could help Lu Ruyu to restore Qingyan Peak to the best of his ability. A trace of shock appeared on Lu Ruyu's face. It was like she did not hear what Xiao Chen said at the end. Her graceful face was clearly was filled with pleasant surprise. She said, what did you call me? Xiao Chen realized what he said. He said, sorry, I misspoke. Elder sister Ruyu. Lu Ruyu burst out into laughter. She said, oi, am I that scary? You even apologized, you did not say anything wrong. I permit you to call me Ruyu in the future. Remember, don't address me by anything else. Xiao Chen felt somewhat embarrassed as he said, All right, elder sister Ruyu. Wait, no, it's Ruyu. Xiao Chen let the wrong term of address slip out. When he saw Lu Ruyu's expression change, he quickly changed his words. Only then did Lu Ruyu smile in satisfaction. You have just come back from a long journey. You should rest for a day first. Come back tomorrow to try out this strengthened ancient absolute saber formation, Lu Ruyu suggested. Xiao Chen thought about it and agreed. This was the strengthened version of the ancient absolute saber formation. Compared to the previous version, it would definitely be more dangerous. He had not completed comprehensive mental preparations yet. It would be fine trying it out after resting for a day. Xiao Chen took his leave and headed for his courtyard. The yard was kept very clean and tidy, the fallen leaves were swept to a side and there was no dust on the stone table. Clearly, in the time Xiao Chen had left, there were people coming frequently to clean the place. Xiao Chen sat at the stone table somewhat absent-mindedly. Ever since he walked out of the dueling ground, he felt that could not calm down. Earlier, when he was in front of Lu Ruyu, Xiao Chen had suppressed his emotions. Now, 
He could not longer hold them back and they were bursting out. Xiao Chen had never experienced such a state. If it were in the past, he would definitely make full use of the time before it became dark. He would not waste any time and spend it all on cultivation. Xiao Chen would not spend time having wild thoughts running through his head like he was doing now. Actually, the last time Lu Ruyu got injured, it made him very distracted. Xiao Chen already had a vague feeling that she had occupied a very important place in his heart without him realizing it. Xiao Chen was not even sure when he had started having this feeling. Perhaps it was from when Lu Ruyu attacked Song Kei for his sake. Since Xiao Chen had kissed Lu Ruyu, this feeling had already unknowingly sunk in. As he spent more time with her, it was entrenched even deeper. It was just that he had focused on cultivation and had ignored it. In another manner of speaking, he had overlooked the deepest feelings in his heart. It was only when Lu Ruyu got injured, this feeling exploded out intensely. Her injuries were reflected on Xiao Chen, he could not remain calm at all. Night slowly fell. There was no moon tonight, the sky was only filled with flickering stars. Xiao Chen had sat in the yard for more than half the day. The kiss Lu Ruyu gave Xiao Chen during the day disrupted his thoughts once again. It was at an even more intense level than when Lu Ruyu was injured. This was a kind of longing that could not be overcome. At this moment, Xiao Chen's mind was filled with Lu Ruyu's figure. Xiao Chen did his best to try and calm his thoughts. He looked at the starry sky and took a deep breath. Then, he leapt up and over the courtyard walls, heading over to Lu Ruyu's courtyard. Xiao Chen moved like a flood dragon, moving as fast as lightning. In the blink of an eye, he arrived and stopped at the huge tree outside Lu Ruyu's courtyard. There were shouting sounds coming from the courtyard. Xiao Chen's eyesight was very sharp. With the weak starlight, the darkness of night was not an obstruction to him, he could see the situation in the courtyard very clearly. Although it was late at night, Lu Ruyu was not asleep. She was fully focused on practicing a set of saber techniques. Wind blew in the courtyard, the sharp saber chi flew everywhere in the air. However, with Xiao Chen's sharp eyesight, he could tell there was some instability with her mental state. This resulted in many openings in her saber technique. If she were facing an enemy, it would result in dire consequences. As Xiao Chen quietly watched Lu Ruyu practice her saber in the courtyard, a faint smile appeared on his face. His heart slowly calmed down. After an hour, Xiao Chen quietly descended from the tree and started to head back to his courtyard. Xiao Chen finally got an answer to what was that hazy feeling he was experiencing. However, he was not confident of how to proceed from here. Perhaps this was for the best. Wang. Wang. Suddenly, just as this moment, the spirit blood jade on his chest started trembling. Xiao Chen's expression changed. He exclaimed, what's happening with Xiao Bai? Why is the spirit blood jade moving with so much activity? The warning from the spirit blood jade greatly astonished Xiao Chen. The spirit blood jade was the link between Xiao Chen and Xiao Bai. Unless something there was grave danger to one's life, it would not move like this. Xiao Chen activated the windwalk shoes and raised his speed to the limit. Then, he rushed in the direction of where the feeling came from. After a short while, he had already left the boundaries of Qingyan Peak. He felt that it was still a distance away from where he was. Xiao Chen came to a stop in a dense forest. This forest was familiar to Xiao Chen. He frequently cultivated an experiment with martial techniques here. This was because this place was extremely desolate. Furthermore, there were not many people in Qingyan Peak in the first place. No matter how much activity, it would not be discovered by others. Since Xiao Bai came here, it was definitely not being attacked. Xiao Chen's heart slowly calmed down. However, the activity of the spirit blood jade became even greater. What exactly is happening? 
Xiao Chen frowned tightly. He could not understand what was going on. Could Xiao Bai be attempting suicide? Boom. 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 Huge waves of energy came sweeping by. Xiao Chen decreased his speed significantly. Bright lights occasionally flickered in the pitch dark forest. This made the forest alternate between bright and dark. The horrifying energy spread through the air. Strong winds blew and caused the trees to shake the trees. Countless fallen leaves flew everywhere, dirt filled the air. Xiao Chen focused his essence shield in front of him. The fallen leaves and dirt that blew at him were turned into dust. There seemed to be a calm spot in the middle of the forest, like the eye of the storm. The strong winds and waves of horrifying energy originated from there. What is going on? This energy wave is already touching the boundaries of a rank 7 spirit beasts. Furthermore, it is rising continuously. Xiao Chen thought sullenly to himself, regardless of the situation, I have to quickly go over. Only then will I understand what is going on. Su, Su, Su. Xiao Chen moved through the forest like an arrow. He could not be bothered to dodge the trees in his way, so he simply punched them and shattered them to bits. He forcibly carved a straight path through the dense forest. The spirit blood jade on Xiao Chen's chest started to give off a dazzling scarlet light. He felt some heat on his chest, it was so hot it was scary. Hu Kai, Hu Kai. In a short time, Xiao Chen had finally rushed to the center of the storm. The entire body of the snow white Xiao Bai was flickering with a jade like light. Within its body seemed to be a weak human figure. That human figure was struggling non stop, like it was suffering from tremendous pain. Under the light from the starry sky, it gave off a different kind of radiance, it was very beautiful. There were ripples moving through the air in the surroundings, like crystalline silk ribbons. As the silk ribbons danced, a strong wind blew, forming ferocious tornadoes scattering in the surrounding forest. When Xiao Chen saw all this, he was completely stunned. He exclaimed in disbelief, this is changing forms. Could Xiao Bai be trying to change forms whenever it sneaked out at night in the past? It is too dangerous. Xiao Bai was not strong enough. Most regular spirit beasts would need to be rank 8 before they could try changing forms. A rank 8 spirit beast was equivalent to a human martial monarch. Furthermore, the success rate was only about 50%. Most of the time, they would gain true spiritual intelligence first before deciding to change their forms. To spirit beasts, changing forms was the greatest fortuitous encounter they could have. However, this fortuitous encounter came with boundless danger. It's really stupid, causing trouble like this. If I had known, I would not have passed the mysterious Nine Heavenly Revolution transformation to it. Xiao Chen said, feeling somewhat vexed. If Xiao Bai did not have the mysterious Nine Heavenly Revolution transformation, it would not be able to risk its life like that. Unfortunately, it was currently already at the crucial moment. It was too late to stop it. Forcibly trying to stop it would result in the changing form failing and Xiao Bai being reduced to ashes. Boom, boom, boom. As Xiao Chen was thinking, a resplendent pillar of light lit up on Xiao Bao and rose to the sky. A horrifying energy came sweeping across, causing all the surrounding trees to be crushed into powder. Boom! Xiao Chen sent out a palm strike, shattering the energy ripple moving toward him. However, he had just shattered one wave and there were several other flickering beams of light appearing behind it. Then several waves of energy flew at him. This was comparable to a peak rank 7 demonic beasts attach. The energy contained within was too huge. Xiao Chen was forced to retreat for several hundred meters. He leapt into the air and stopped on the tree branch. The spirit beast's changing form could actually incite such intense energy waves. Xiao Bai was only a rank 6 spirit beast. If it were a true rank 8 spirit beast's changing forms, the amount of energy incited would be even more horrifying. 
Xiao Chen stated at Xiao Bai within the pillar of light. His heart was filled with worry. If was not careful, such strong energy could shatter its bones into powder. The resplendent pillar of light rushing to the sky flickered for a long time. The surrounding spiritual energy of the heaven and earth was all moving toward Xiao Bai. Eventually, the spiritual energy became overly dense, and countless motes of starlight appeared in the air, all made up of spiritual energy. They filled the air densely, flickering in the darkness. They were like bright shining stars. The tiny human figure within Xiao Bai's jade-like body became more distinct with the infusing of spiritual energy. Xiao Bai was now only left with the final step, receiving the baptism of heaven and earth, before it could successfully complete changing form. The so-called baptism of heaven and earth referred to the punishments from the heavenly Taoists. Furthermore, this was the most dangerous step. Both spirit beasts and human beings were creatures made by the heavenly Taoists. Be it humans becoming spirit beasts or the reverse, it was a great challenge to the heavenly Taoists. If one could survive the fight with the heavenly Taoists, not only would they succeed in changing forms, they would seize a trace of the heavenly Taoists. They would obtain luck and unlimited potential in the future. Xiao Chen looked up and saw boundless layers of clouds churning. Thunder crackled, it looked like the baptism of the heavenly Taoists was forming. The delicate figure within Xiao Bai seemed to have felt the might of the heavenly Tao. It sat cross-legged and circulated the mysterious Nine Heavenly Revolution transformation. Thin golden halos of light appeared around Xiao Bai. This gave its jade-like crystalline body a dignified divine feel. Xiao Chen frowned tightly as he looked at the increasingly horrifying electrical might accumulating in the sky. He felt like his heart had jumped into his throat, he was incredibly nervous. Boom! The building lightning finally reached a critical point, and exploded. A silver snake of electricity broke through the sky and descended toward Xiaobao on the ground. The berserk bolt of lightning struck the golden halo and exploded loudly. The dirt of the surrounding ground was blasted into the air, obscuring Xiao Chen's vision. The ground started trembling. The tree Xiao Chen was in started to shake wildly. The tree Xiao Chen was standing on screeched as its body moved. He looked like he was about to be flung off. However, he maintained a delicate balance as he stood on the top of the tree, refusing to be thrown off. Boom, 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 boom. Surging bolts of lightning struck downward continuously. It looked like space was being torn apart. The pitch dark night scene of the forest was immediately lit up by its radiance. Let nothing happen to Xiao Bai. Xiao Chen prayed out loud. The crackles of thunder seemed like they were striking Xiao Chen's thoughts, making him very anxious. During this baptism by the heavenly Taoists, Xiao Chen did not dare to extend out his spiritual sense. Otherwise, if the heavenly Taoists noticed it, they might rain down a heavier punishment. The dirt that filled the air obscured Xiao Chen's vision. Lightning occasionally descended from the air. It looked like it would never end. Hu Kai. Xiao Chen sent out a strong wind from his palm. The palm wind was as sharp as a saber. It sliced apart the dirt that filled the air, revealing a crack in the cloud of dirt that extended to Xiao Bai in the center. The crack only lasted for an instant before it mended. Xiao Chen's eyesight was very sharp. In the instant the crack appeared, he finally saw Xiao Bai. Under the baptism of lightning, the golden halos became brighter. The dignified divine aura did not allow one to underestimate it. That's good. It just has to withstand for a while longer and it will be over. After all, the mysterious Nine Heavenly Revolution transformation is an immortal grade cultivation technique, Xiao Chen said with a soft sigh. Thunder roared for a while more before the air went completely silent. However, the layer of boundless clouds did not scatter yet. It looked like the calm before the storm. The air within the forest instantly stopped moving. The dirt that was suspended in the air looked like it had frozen there, there was no movement at all. 
The depressing atmosphere extended throughout the forest. This makes breathing feel uncomfortable. It felt like there was a huge rock pressing on the chest. It was extremely hard to bear. Xiao Chen held his breath as he looked at the churning thunderclouds. He muttered to himself, this should be a final strike. I hope nothing will go wrong. Right after Xiao Chen spoke, a golden light exploded out in the sky. Under the radiance of the golden light, the thunderclouds looked extremely resplendent. A bolt of golden lightning tore through the night sky. It was like a golden javelin tearing through the barrier of space. It descended from the nine heavens and crashed at Xiao Bai's head in an instant. A boundless golden light expanded out and Xiao Chen's eyes felt a piercing pain, blinding him. All he saw was darkness, he could not see anything. A continuous chain of shockwaves struck Xiao Chen's body. This caused him to be blown away into the air before falling heavily. Xiao Chen extended out his spiritual sense and the surrounding scene appeared in his mind. He performed a small somersault and landed firmly on the ground. I was too careless, this golden lightning is probably one of the highest grades of lightning. It probably is something even a martial monarch would not dare to take lightly, Xiao Chen thought to himself. I have to quickly get rid of the remnant of the electric light in my eyes. Otherwise, if it leaves any hidden damage, it might result in permanent damage to my eyes. Xiao Chen sat cross-legged and purple essence flowed through his meridians and entered his eyes. They slowly and carefully removed the remnant golden electric light. After a while, Xiao Chen had removed all the electric light. He opened his eyes again and his vision recovered. Xiao Chen shouted and pushed off the ground. He quickly headed for the location where the golden light landed. The cloud of dirt already started to slowly scatter. In the middle of the cloud, a perfect and beautiful young girl not wearing any clothes appeared in Xiao Chen's vision. The girl looked like she was only about 14 or 15 years old. Her skin was as white as snow. She had exquisite facial features on her cute oval face. She looked extremely delicate, pretty, and cute. Her eyes were closed. Her thick eyelashes left semicircular shadows on her face. As she breathed, her chest rose and fell slightly, she seemed to be asleep. When Xiao Chen felt the girl's aura of life, he exhaled in relief. He took out a set of clothes and draped them over Xiao Bai. Xiao Chen carried her into his embrace. Her tender body had the cute feeling of a young girl that could make hearts tremble. Xiao Chen took a deep breath and calmed the fire in his heart, calming the physiological reaction that every man would have. Then, Xiao Chen quickly headed for his courtyard. Such great activity was likely to have startled some people. It was best if they quickly left this place. Xiao Chen carried Xiao Bai as he executed the Azure Dragon Cloud Soaring Art. As he moved over the ground, the scenery on both sides flashed by quickly. At an unknown time, Xiao Bai suddenly opened her eyes. A seductive trait was added to her cute face. The corner of Xiao Bai's eyes curled upwards slightly, and her eyelashes fluttered. This was a pair of eyes that could hook the soul of men. When she looked at Xiao Chen's serious face, her eyes filled with curiosity. The corner of her mouth curled up into a faint smile. When Xiao Bai's eyes looked downward, Focusing on Xiao Chen's lips, she seemed to have remembered something. Her soft arms suddenly hooked around Xiao Chen's neck. Then, Xiao Bai's red lips parted and she used her snow-white teeth to bit on Xiao Chen's lips. The sudden change in the situation and the mild pain from his lip caused Xiao Chen's essence to stop flowing properly. He almost tumbled over in a dangerous fashion. He quickly abandoned his movement technique and stopped. Xiao Bai released Xiao Chen from the bite and a smile appeared on her face. Her face was filled with a proud expression. A trace of blood appeared on Xiao Chen's lips. Xiao Bai had created a small wound on his lips. Within one day, Xiao Chen was forcefully kissed by two girls. He did not know whether he should laugh or cry. 
Xiao Chen's change in expression caused the wound on his lips to hurt. He immediately took a deep breath of pain. This is extraordinarily painful. Where did this girl learn this from? When Xiao Bai saw Xiao Chen's pained expression, she said doubtfully, Elder brother Xiao Chen, what's wrong? You look like you are in pain. However, when I saw elder sister Ruyu kiss you, you seem to have a comfortable expression on your face. Did Xiao Bai do it wrongly? Perhaps it was because this was Xiao Bai's first time speaking, or maybe it was because of Xiao Chen's pained expression. Xiao Bai's puerile voice sounded very timid and afraid. Xiao Chen felt enlightened, so that was what's going on. However, you did not learn the correct thing when you were watching. Lu Ruyu had only pecked me lightly, she did not bite me with her teeth. Naturally, Xiao Chen only said these things in his heart. It was not convenient for him to explain to Xiao Bai. Furthermore, when he faced Xiao Bai with a new form, he was unable to get used to her quickly. You are not wrong, but such actions cannot be casually be done to other people. It can only be done to people with an intimate relationship with you, Xiao Chen said after thinking for a long moment. Xiao Bai nodded. Her cute face showed that she understood. Her melodious and immature voice said, Oh, I know now. Elder sister Ruyu likes elder brother Xiao Chen. That's why she did it. I like elder brother Xiao Chen as well, so I can do it as well. Big brother Xiao Yang likes elder sister Xiao Meng as well, I frequently see him kissing elder sister Xiao Meng in secret. Xiao Chen started to have a headache. The more Xiao Bai explained the more puzzling it was. However, he finally understood why Xiao Bai knew so many strange things even though she had just changed forms. So, she had learned them from Xiao Meng. Xiao Chen was not very good at this topic. He simply smiled in embarrassment and stopped speaking. Xiao Chen made one of his hands available and took out a pair of shoes from the universe ring. He said, since you are awake, then you should learn to walk yourself. Here is a pair of shoes, you have to learn how to wear shoes in the future. Xiao Bai hung tightly to Xiao Chen's neck and squirmed around in Xiao Chen's embrace. Her watery eyes were filled with doubts as she said seriously, why? Elder brother Xiao Chen, didn't you use to carry me frequently in the past? You have to keep carrying me, Xiao Bai likes it when you carry me. Will you stop moving around? Xiao Chen said depressedly in his heart. Xiao Bai was only covered with a simple long robe. Most of her body was not covered properly. A large amount of her snow white skin was exposed and came into contact with him. The passionate body of a young girl clung tightly to Xiao Chen's chest. Occasionally, the two firm yet soft mounds on her chest pressed against Xiao Chen's chest. To any healthy male, this would invoke a burning desire in their hearts. This was especially so when the girl in front of Xiao Chen did not know what kind of reaction her actions would cause a man to have. Xiao Chen closed his eyes and worked very hard for a long time before he could quench that burning desire in his heart. After a long time, he opened his eyes and said calmly, All right, but you have to promise me to not move around randomly. Xiao Bai moved in a cute manner, Xiao Bai won't move, Xiao Bai is obedient. Xiao Bai will definitely not move. Xiao Chen put away the shoes he took out. Then, he looked at Xiao Bai's pure face and her bewitching eyes. He could not help but smile helplessly. Xiao Chen thought to himself, even if you don't move, you still are very tempting. Unfortunately, this girl currently does not know anything. I cannot let her hang out with Xiao Meng anymore. I have to teach her more things. Xiao Chen sorted out his emotions first before executing the Azure Dragon Cloud Soaring Art. He quickly headed for his courtyard. Not long after Xiao Chen left, two flashes of red light appeared at where Xiao Bai changed forms and landed on the ground. Two people wearing scarlet battle armor dressed in scarlet fluttering robes with scarlet sabers hanging at their waist appeared. There was a scarlet token hanging at their waist. 
They were the commander and vice commander of the Divine Saber camp. The expressions of the two were grave, their eyes seemed muddled and not focused. Then looking at them carefully, there seemed to be vengeful ghosts in the depths of their eyes crying miserably. The two stood quietly without moving. They sent out their auras at will. The surrounding greenery all seemed to have felt a horrifying killing intent. The grass bent over and lay prostrate on the ground, trembling. It was like the plants were alive and felt fear. The person on the right looked around the surroundings, as though he could see everything clearly. After a while, he said, Big brother, that bolt of golden lightning definitely came from here. That person's voice seemed slightly hoarse, but it was extremely calm and well enunciated. The person who spoke was the Divine Saber Camp's vice commander. The one addressed as Big Brother was the Divine Saber Camp's commander, Eximen Ying. Eximen Ying closed his eyes and an invisible red light was emitted from his body. When this red light returned to his body, he said gravely, this golden bolt of lightning was indeed sent down by the heavenly Daos. For this person to have withstood the intense might of the heavenly Tao, he is stronger than Morong Chong. Hua Yan said softly, Big Brother means. Eximen Ying nodded and said, Investigate the identity of this person thoroughly. I want this person. As Xiao Chen carried Xiao Bai back, he suffered the physical contact from Xiao Bai and accompanying mental torture. Finally, he managed to reach his own courtyard. There, he heaved a sigh of relief. However, another problem arose. Although there were many rooms in this courtyard, for a long time, Xiao Chen was the only person living here. So, there was only one room that could be stayed in. The other rooms were empty and did not have beds. If it were in the past, there would naturally be no problem. Xiao Chen could sleep on the bed and Xiao Bai would enter the spirit blood jade. If not, Xiao Bai could sleep beside him. However, it was different now. Now that Xiao Bai changed forms, it was not very humane to shut her in the spirit blood jade. However, Xiao Chen was afraid that he would not be able to calm down and cultivate if a beautiful girl that occasionally teased him was around, despite not knowing anything. It looked like Xiao Chen could only spend the night outside in the courtyard for tonight. He carried Xiao Bai into the room before putting her down on the bed. Then, he said, you should sleep first. I'm going to cultivate. Xiao Bai buried herself in the covers and stretched her body. Then, she looked at Xiao Chen with big watery eyes and said in a melodious voice, Elder brother Xiao Chen, come sleep with me. When Xiao Chen looked at the innocent and serious Xiao Bai who took everything for granted, he revealed a troubled expression. After a long time, Xiao Chen finally squeezed out these words, Xiao Bai, you have already changed forms and become human. There are some things that cannot be done as casually as you did in the past. If a man and a woman are not lovers, they cannot sleep together. You do understand. Xiao Bai's cute face shone an expression of being deep in thought. Her brain was doing its best to digest what Xiao Chen said. It was hard to tell whether she understood or not. When Xiao Chen saw Xiao Bai's expression, gentle feelings arose in his heart. She was like a little child, ignorant and wanting people to pamper her. He knew he could not rush some things, he had to slowly teach her. Just listen to me. Sleep early, I will be cultivating in the yard. Don't think too much. You can take it slowly, Xiao Chen said gently. Xiao Bai nodded gently and said, I will listen to you. I'm going to sleep first. However, when elder brother Xiao Chen is tired, you can come and sleep. Xiao Chen smiled gently and did not say anything else. Then he gently closed the doors after leaving the room. Xiao Chen turned around and looked at the sky full of stars. He thought of when he had first obtained Xiao Bai and the mature six-tailed spirit fox that had protected Xiao Bai with her life. His heart was filled with complicated emotions. This was the felt time he felt regret for something he had done. Regardless of the situation, since I took away your most beloved, 
I will do my best to make sure she does not suffer any harm, Xiao Chen promised as he looked at the starry sky with calm eyes. It was late at night, Xiao Chen sat cross-legged on a rock in the yard. The gentle night breeze blew and Xiao Chen's restless heart slowly calmed down. The purple thunder divine incantation slowly circulated. The spiritual energy poured over like it was water. The spiritual energy below the mountain was not comparable to on the mountain. It would probably be difficult for him to find such a good cultivation ground again after leaving the Heavenly Saber Pavilion. Xiao Chen intended to do his best to raise his Purple Thunder Divine Incantation to the sixth layer before leaving. While Xiao Chen cultivated, time flew by. The starry sky slowly faded and a faint radiance slowly appeared at the horizon. Dawn was approaching. When the first light of dawn struck Xiao Chen's face, he opened his tightly shut eyes. A brilliant light flashed in his eyes. The first thing Xiao Chen saw was Xiao Bai. It was unknown when she woke up. One of her hands was placed on the stone table as she stared at him. Xiao Chen waved his hand and absorbed all the remnant purple electricity in the surroundings back into his body. Then, he got up and walked over to Xiao Bai. He smiled faintly and said, When did you wake up? Why don't you sleep a little longer? Xiao Bai slowly stood up and said, I woke up long ago. Today is my first day as a human, I cannot be lazing around. The moment Xiao Bai stood up, Xiao Chen discovered she was still covered in the long robes that he gave her the last night. Furthermore, they were merely draped over her. When Xiao Bai stood up, it exposed a lot of skin on her chest. Xiao Chen blushed slightly. During the night, it was not very obvious. However, it was now day and clearly inappropriate. Then, Xiao Chen fortunately remembered that there was a set of clothes in the universe ring that he had bought for his maid, Bao backquote Er, in the past. Bao backquote Er's figure is very similar to Xiao Bai's. This set of clothes should fit her well. Xiao Chen used his spiritual sense to search around in his universe ring and he finally found them, quickly taking them out. You should wear these clothes first. In the future, when you go out, you have to clothe yourself properly. Xiao Chen handed the clothes to Xiao Bai. Then, he looked at her bare feet. He added, remember, you have to wear shoes. Xiao Bai received the clothes joyfully. However, after she thought for a while, her young face revealed a vexed expression. She said, I don't know how to wear them. Elder brother Xiao Chen, please help Xiao Bai to wear them, Xiao Bai asked with a look of anticipation. Xiao Chen took a deep breath. There are some things that he had to harden his heart on. Xiao Bai was now an ordinary girl. She had to learn these things on her own. You must learn this by yourself. You cannot rely on anyone's help. Otherwise, you are not allowed to go out, Xiao Chen said gravely. Xiao Bai looked at Xiao Chen's serious expression and solemnly nodded. She said, Xiao Bai is smart. Elder brother Xiao Chen, rest assured, I will learn it. Xiao Chen nodded and smiled, then, quickly go. After you put on your clothes, I will bring you out. As Xiao Chen watched Xiao Bai brought the clothes to his room, a grave expression appeared on Xiao Chen's face. Explaining Xiao Bai's identity to the others would be a problem. However, the people on Qingyan Peak would believe Xiao Chen. He would just tell them directly. After all, he could not keep Xiao Bai holed up in his room forever. Sooner or later, she would have to meet someone. Xiao Chen took out some food for breakfast from the universe ring. Then, he sat down on the stone table and ate at an unhurried pace. After some time, the doors opened. Xiao Chen put down the teacup in his hand and turned his head to take a look. Xiao Chen only saw Xiao Bai wearing a long green skirt. When accompanied with her pure and cute face, it was like he had obtained a little sister. Xiao Bai's elegant, Almond-shaped eyes added an enticing feel to her pure aura. The two contrasting auras naturally merged together, resulting in her looking charming. 
Xiao Bai spun around for Xiao Chen to see. Then she said happily, Am I pretty? Xiao Chen became slightly absent-minded. However, he quickly recovered his wits and nodded, Pretty. Come, eat something first. Xiao Bai walked over to the table feeling satisfied. Then she demurely ate the breakfast on the table with small bites. Then, her eyes looked around for a while before she said, Elder brother Xiao Chen, I want to drink wine. Xiao Chen laughed helplessly and took out a bottle gourd. Then, he poured her a small cup and said, You are only allowed to drink one cup. It is not a good thing for girls to like drinking. Xiao Bai happily took the wine cup into her hands. Then, she placed it under her nose and smelled it. After that, she elatedly took a small sip. It seemed like it was not sufficient. Finally, she finished the rest of the wine in a big gulp. After Xiao Bao finished drinking, she looked pitifully in Xiao Chen's direction. Before she had changed forms, she had frequently used this move on Xiao Chen. At this moment, she subconsciously used it again. I cannot give in to her anymore, Xiao Chen stopped smiled and said, No, you can only have one cup. Eat something. Seeing Xiao Chen not agree to it, Xiao Bai could only helplessly eat her breakfast. She had a pitiful expression on her face, making it hard to reject her. In the end, Xiao Chen was firm on his stance and did not agree. He had to slowly set the rules down. Otherwise, it would be difficult to teach her. After finishing their breakfast, Xiao Chen brought Xiao Bai to the dueling grounds of Qingyan Peak. Xiao Chen was full of anticipation for the strengthened ancient absolute saber formation. All along, Xiao Chen had never forgotten his purpose in coming to the Heavenly Saber Pavilion. It was also that he could learn listening to the sword and communicating with it, and awaken Ao Zhao as soon as he could. As they were walking up Qingyan Peak, Xiao Bai was very active and lively. She was flitting about in front of Xiao Chen, moving like the wind. There was no way to stop her, she was very excited. When Xiao Chen saw this, he thought to himself, looking at a familiar world from another angle would get anyone excited. This was especially so for Xiao Bai, who is still a child. However, when they approached the dueling grounds, Xiao Chen turned quiet. It was like she was afraid of meeting other people. Xiao Chen consoled her, it will be fine. The people on Qingyan Peak are all friends. Friends would not care about this matter. Xiao Bai nodded as though she understood. However, she was still hiding behind Xiao Chen's back. She was not as lively as she was earlier. Xiao Chen shook his head slightly and took the lead in entering the dueling grounds. There was shouting coming from within the dueling grounds. Surprisingly, the rarely seen Xiao Yang and Xiao Meng were practicing in there, as well. They were currently exchanging moves. Lu Sufeng, who was currently exchanging blows with Lu Ruyu, saw his savior and immediately revealed a smile. He quickly ran towards Xiao Chen. With one glance, Lu Sufeng saw Xiao Bai, who was behind Xiao Chen. It was like he had seen a celestial being. He was immediately stunned, the smile on his face froze. He was staring relentlessly at Xiao Bai. Xiao Chen coughed twice before Lu Sufeng reacted. He said embarrassedly, sorry, sorry. Yi Chen, who is this beauty? Why do I find her to be somewhat familiar? Will you introduce us? When Lu Ruyu and the others discovered the situation, they came over curiously. Their eyes were full of astonishment. Xiao Chen thought about it for a while before deciding to tell the truth. There was no need to hide this from them. She is Xiao Bai. She changed forms last night. Lu Sufeng's expression changed slightly. He smiled embarrassedly, Yi Chen, you must be joking with me. Xiao Chen said with a calm expression, do I look like I am joking? When Xiao Chen saw Lu Ruyu's suspicious gaze, he nodded his head and said, her circumstances were quite special. I will tell everyone more about it in the future. However, I hope everyone will help me to keep this a secret for now. 
Liu Ruyu was the first to recover her wits. She said seriously, Yi Chen, you can rest assured. This is absolutely a safe place for Xiao Bai. Xiao Chen gently pushed Xiao Bai before everyone and said, Xiao Bai, say hi to everybody. Xiao Bai was not as afraid as she was before. She smiled widely and said, Elder brother Su Feng, Elder brother Xiao Yang, Elder sister Ruyu, and Elder sister Xiao Meng, good morning. Xiao Bai's immature voice made everyone laugh. Xiao Meng pulled Xiao Bai over and said, Come, Xiao Bai. I will bring you to play your hair. If a girl's hair is loose, it will not be nice. Before Xiao Chen could stop Xiao Bai, she was dragged out by Xiao Meng. Lu Ruyu smiled and said, Let her go, nothing will happen to her on Qingyan Peak. Xiao Chen was not actually afraid of that, he was only worried that Xiao Bai would learn some strange things from Xiao Meng. Xiao Chen smiled helplessly and withdrew his gaze, thank you. I have already made my preparations to enter the ancient absolute saber formation. Lu Ruyu showed some restraint and stopped smiling. She said seriously, come with me. This ancient absolute saber formation is much more dangerous than before. It has higher requirements for the cultivation of your mental state. There are some things you need to know beforehand. Lu Ruyu led Xiao Chen over to the corner where the ancient absolute saber formation was. Then, she carefully explained some of the things Xiao Chen needed to pay attention to. Under Lu Ruyu's direction, Xiao Chen slowly entered the saber formation. The killing chi of several ancient weapons came surging over, crashing against Xiao Chen's soul relentlessly. If it were a lesser person who had a weaker soul, the instant they stepped in, their soul might have been shattered. Xiao Chen guarded his Dantian with his consciousness and used his spiritual sense to protect his body. The surging killing chi was warded away outside of his body as he sat down cross-legged in the middle of the formation. Wang. A melodious buzzing came from the small saber in Lu Ruyu's hand. The saber came out of its scabbard and trembled continuously. Lu Ruyu was slowly using the listening to the sword and communicating with it she had comprehended. The weapon stuck to the ground all immediately trembled. The buzzing sounds reverberated in the entire dueling ground. When the thousand of ancient sabers trembled and the sound of it gathered together, it became an ear-splitting noise. A strong wind blew around the saber formation, coming from no apparent source. Lu Ruyu's pretty face was filled with a grave expression as she shouted out a battle cry. The small saber in her hand gave off a dazzling light. The strong winds immediately gathered together and focused on Xiao Chen, who was in the middle of the formation, forming into a pillar of wind. G. The light left the saber and infused into the pillar of wind in the blink of an eye. The pillar of wind immediately gave off a resplendent light. After that, it scattered. All the weapons started to glow. After Lu Ruyu completed all this, color drained from her face. She became very pale and her body became unsteady. When Lu Sufeng, who was at the side, saw the situation, he revealed a grave expression. He stretched out his hands to support Lu Ruyu. Sis, is it worth helping him like this? With your current cultivation realm, just activating this strengthened version of the ancient absolute saber formation once will exhaust half a year of cultivation. Exhausting half a year of cultivation meant wasting half a year of time. To an apex cultivator, lazing around for one month could result in them leaving the ranks of the apex cultivators. One can only imagine how much damage wasting half a year would do. Lu Ruyu massaged the Taiyang acupoint on her forehead with her right hand. After a while, she opened her eyes, she was already feeling much better. A shallow smile appeared on Lu Ruyu's pretty and charming face. She said softly, he came to Qingyan Peak with the sole purpose of learning listening to the sword and communicating with it. He has already done so much, yet he asked for nothing in return. If I don't help him, who else can? Lu Sufeng said softly, 
However, if he learns listening to the sword and communicating with it, he will definitely leave this heavenly saber pavilion, and Qingyan Peak. When Lu Ruyu heard this, a difficult to detect a trace of loss flashed in her black eyes. She said softly, I knew this from the first day he came to Qingyan Peak. With regards to the heavenly saber pavilion and Qingyan Peak, he is merely a passerby. Lu Ruyu paused for a while. Then, she laughed somewhat helplessly and revealed a calm expression as she continued, In this world, there are some people destined for greatness. Their names will shake the heavens, shaking the old and illuminating the new. Instead of holding him back, stopping him from soaring, why not give him a hand to climb to the peak of the world? When all the light from the weapons appeared, Xiao Chen, suddenly discovered the scene in front of where he sat in the middle of the ancient absolute saber formation had changed. He had entered into a gray world. There were countless sabers piercing through the air, flying quickly at Xiao Chen. Xiao Chen had entered the lesser ancient absolute saber formation many times. He kept a calm expression and did not panic at all. With a thought, a snow-white saber immediately appeared in his hand. The saber was two fingers wide and about 2.7 meters long. The blade of the saber was flickering with a cold light. Xiao Chen had tempered himself in the miniature ancient absolute saber formation for several months. He had already made some progress in the listening to the sword and communicating with it. All he was lacking now was an opportune moment. An opportune moment that would allow Xiao Chen to completely grasp listening to the sword and communicating with it. Dang! 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 As the sabers moved, a saber light moved in all directions, causing all the sabers in the air to be knocked away. As Xiao Chen stood in this illusionary space, he had an expression that indicated he was deep in thought. He murmured, in the past, within the miniature saber formation, I could already completely shatter the weapons that flew at me in the air. However, this time, I had to use 70% of my strength and could only barely knock them back. Looks like it was as Lu Ruyu had said. This strengthened miniature ancient absolute saber formation was at least five times mightier than the previous one. The sabers flickered with sharp saber lights as they relentlessly flew at Xiao Chen. It was like they wanted to swallow him up. Faster. Faster. Find your saber. Find your saber. The familiar voice rang beside Xiao Chen's ears again. He remained calm and ignored it. As he was in the middle of the illusionary space, he moved all around. His saber light was bright as he practiced the Wukui saber technique. Glittering Wukui. Wukui transforms to Qi. Qi breaks Wukui. Xiao Chen shouted out three techniques and he executed the Wukui Saber technique infused with the state of thunder at full force. Strands of purple Saber Qi shattered all the sabers flying around him. The illusionary space slowly turned quiet, but that only lasted for a moment. Almost immediately, countless sabers flickering with dazzling saber lights flew at Xiao Chen with even more ferocity. The gray space instantly exploded out in light. It was so bright, it was dazzling. Wukui blossoms. A purple flower bud appeared below Xiao Chen's feet and enveloped Xiao Chen's body, releasing a strange purple light as it appeared. Bang! 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 The sabers crashed into the surface of the flower bud, attacking relentlessly like a raging storm, giving off metallic crashing sounds. Shu. The flower bud blossomed and purple petals filled the air. When the sabers crashed into the flower petals, they gave off an intense explosion. Instantly, the air was jolting like firecrackers going off incessantly. Xiao Chen leapt through the air filled with flower petals. When he went through the flower petals, his speed would increase explosively. The ferocious sabers were not able to catch up with him. Boom. Currently, there were no specific targets. Naturally, Wukui supporting the heavens could not be executed. It could only cause all this energy to explode. Xiao Chen shouted and all the flower petals exploded. 
When the huge energy gathered together, the entire gray space seemed to tremble. Faster. Faster. Find your saber. After breaking this wave of attacks, that urgent voice sounded out in Xiao Chen's ear again. He looked at the saber in his hand and then ignored the voice. The last time, after Xiao Chen deciphered the meaning of these words, he found the so-called saber in his own heart. Ever since then, he was able to summon out the lunar shadow saber easily. However, the voice in Xiao Chen's ear still rang out like before. It was obvious the saber in his hand was not the saber in his heart. While standing in this gray space, Xiao Chen ignored the voice in his ear, breaking the waves of sabers each time they came. Each wave of sabers was more ferocious than the last. Wounds started to appear on Xiao Chen. Soon, Xiao Chen would no longer be able to withstand the waves of attacks. After breaking 100 waves of attacks, the scene in front of Xiao Chen changed. His consciousness felt hazy for a moment, and then he appeared at a lakeside. A full moon hung high in the air. Waves rippled gently in the water, it was extremely peaceful. In the middle of the lake was a saber floating in the air above the water. The snow white saber reflected the full moon above. It was like there was a full moon in the saber. The peaceful, melodious, and gentle lake water seemed to be extremely harmonious with the saber, it was splendid and magnificent. The wounds on Xiao Chen's body strangely disappeared. Xiao Chen ignored all this. Instead, he was fully focused on the saber in the lake. Xiao Chen revealed a joyful expression. He muttered, did I succeed? This is the true lunar shadow saber in my heart. How beautiful. Pu. 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 Xiao Chen leapt into the air then walked on the air, heading toward that saber floating in the water quickly. Each time he pushed off the water, he moved a hundred meters. After a moment, he arrived under the saber. Ripples appeared in the lake and Xiao Chen stopped. When he stood on the water, he could clearly see the full moon reflected on the saber. When Xiao Chen was about to leap up and grasp the saber with his hand, he suddenly discovered there was a girl sleeping quietly inside the lake. Ao Zhao. When Xiao Chen saw the girl's appearance clearly, his expression changed. He immediately turned around and headed for the nearby girl in the water. However, when he stretched his hand into the water, he only felt the refreshing lake water. The rippling lake water made the sleeping girl look blurry. Xiao Chen stopped what he was doing and quickly calmed down. Ao Zhao is currently in a deep sleep as a result of sealing herself. What I am seeing is merely an illusion. I have to obtain the saber in order to truly wake her up. After Xiao Chen made up his mind, he leapt out of the wave. He created a large splash and headed for the lunar shadow saber. Just as Xiao Chen was about to grab the lunar shadow saber, a dainty hand appeared from nowhere and grabbed the lunar shadow saber before he could. Xiao Chen was startled. When he looked up, he saw a white clothed girl appearing in front. She had a seductive figure and somewhat resembled Ao Zhao. Her exquisite facial features together with the rest of her body made her extremely beautiful. However, her facial expression seemed somewhat out of the world. There were no emotions on it. It was like she was an immortal who was above the common populace. Comparing her to Duan Muqing, who used the profound ice incantation, there were some similarities. However, she was even more extraordinary than Duan Muqing. Xiao Chen was astonished. This girl was the girl he met when he first entered the ancient Absolute Saber Formation. Who is she? Why did she take away my Lunar Shadow Saber? The white-clothed girl frowned as she held the Lunar Shadow Saber. A clear and emotionless voice sounded, Who are you? How are you able to approach the Lunar Shadow Saber's Saber Spirit? Xiao Chen felt it was strange. He said, you asked who am I? I want to ask who are you, too. I am the master of the Lunar Shadow Saber. Do I not have the qualifications to awaken its Saber Spirit? The white-clothed girl's exquisite face remained emotionless. 
She held the saber in her hand horizontally across her chest. Her empty voice sounded out again. What a joke. I am Lunar Shadow. Why do I not know when I obtained a master? Whether you have the qualifications or not will be decided by the saber. Xiao Chen's expression changed slightly. The situation was different from what he expected. For some unknown reason, the girl in front of him became the Lunar Shadow Saber's Saber Spirit. Furthermore, she did not recognize him as her master. Xiao Chen grasped the saber in his hand tightly and his expression calmed. He said in a sullen voice, as you wish. I will use the saber in my hand to make you acknowledge me. The white-clothed girl's face still remained expressionless. Her empty voice sounded out as she said indifferently, then let me see your saber, see if it could make me submit. Hu Kai. The white-clothed girl flashed in the air. Her body tore through the air, it was like she moved instantly, appearing beside Xiao Chen's left side. Glittering Wukui. The lunar shadow saber in her hand released a purple electric light. A purple saber chi containing the state of thunder flew toward Xiao Chen. Xiao Chen was astonished. He did not expect this saber spirit to know the martial techniques he knew. Furthermore, the most astonishing thing was that this glittering wukui also contained the state of thunder. Xiao Chen's body flashed in the air and he quickly dodged in the direction of the lake. After his feet touched the water surface, he quickly retreated backward. As Xiao Chen retreated, a huge energy caused the calm lake water to split and rise up like two walls of water. Two sets of thunderclouds were starting to gather in the night sky above. One set belonged to Xiao Chen and the other to the white-clothed girl. The two of them started to compete with their states of thunder. When the thunderclouds met, loud cracks of thunder roared in the quiet night sky. Pillars of water rose up from the lake. Countless arcs of wandering purple electricity were moving around in the air. My state of thunder that is infused with holy might is actually unable to do anything to her state. Xiao Chen was astonished. Boom. The two thunderclouds that knocked into each other had accumulated energy to their limits and gave off a loud boom. A hundred meter tall pillar of water appeared on the lake's surface. Wukui transforms to Qi. The white-clothed girl shouted and a divine Wukui tree appeared from nowhere. Then, it turned into hundreds of dense purple saber chi. They pierced through the water pillar and headed for Xiao Chen. Wukui transforms to chi. Xiao Chen quickly retreated backward and, likewise, used the Wukui transforms to chi. Bang! 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 The two of them sent out saber chi that clashed in the air. A string of intense explosions rang out. The berserk lightning attributed energy raged in all directions. Like before, this move ended in a stalemate, neither could triumph over the other. The thunder clouds of the white clothed girl started to churn quickly. After a while, it turned into a huge whirlpool of thunder clouds. The sound of a huge army came from within the whirlpool, making the sky tremble. She actually knows this move as well. Xiao Chen's face turned ashen. This move combined all the moves in the rushing thunder saber technique. Xiao Chen was very clear on the might of rushing thunder roars. The thunderclouds above Xiao Chen started churning as well. The boundless thunderclouds turned into a huge electrical whirlpool. The auras of the two were rising ferociously. Rushing thunder roars, 10,000 horses galloping. The both of them shouted at the same time, countless knights on horses came from the electrical whirlpools above them. It was like thousands of horses and men rushing to war. They carried the might of thunder and surged forward. Their electric knights fought above the lake. After a while, there was a chain reaction. A total of more than 2,000 electric knights all exploded. The knights were infused with the state of thunder. The entire lake was tossed into the air by at least a hundred meters by the combined energy generated by explosions. Xiao Chen was unable to dodge the huge shockwave, and vomited out a mouthful of blood. However, the white-clothed girl was not in a good state, either. 
Her face turned extremely pale. At the same time, back in the real world, the lunar shadow saber beside Xiao Chen was trembling violently. All the sabers in the entire formation were trembling non-stop. Rumble. A huge energy wave extended out in the dueling ground. The ground shook left and right. Xiao Chen, whose body was still in the ancient absolute saber formation, had a pained expression. Then, he vomited up a mouthful of blood. Lu Sufeng's expression changed. He asked in shock, Sis. What's going on? Yi Chen seems to be in danger. Should we stop the ancient absolute saber formation? A worried expression also appeared on Lu Ruyu's pretty face. However, a resolute look appeared in her eyes as she shook her head. No need, I believe Yi Chen will be able to withstand it. The lunar shadow saber is starting to show some changes. If we gave up at this moment, then all will be for naught. Kill. Xiao Chen's fighting spirit was completely ignited. He did not believe that he would lose to a weapon spirit from the lunar shadow saber. The two leapt across the rising waters. Two figures clashed against each other, one white and one purple. Dang. 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 Saber lights flickered under the full moon and strong winds blew. The two were equally fast. Within an instant, they exchanged hundreds of moves in the air. When their weapons clashed, countless sparks were generated. Although the white-clothed girl was not able to execute the exclusive movement technique of the Azure Dragon, she had an unpredictable movement technique. Indeed, it seemed like she was able to suppress Xiao Chen slightly. Xiao Chen thought to himself, I cannot carry on like this. Her essence seems inexhaustible. She knows all the martial techniques I know, it is hard to gain an advantage over her. If I drag this out, I will exhaust my essence and will be defeated by her sooner or later. I have to think of another way. Bang! Xiao Chen's sharp saber gave off a dazzling saber light. The saber strike the white clothed girl sent out was knocked back. After that, he quickly performed a somersault. Xiao Chen executed the Azure Dragon Cloud Soaring Art to its limits. In the blink of an eye, he created a distance of several hundred meters between them. Then, Xiao Chen pulled off the blue strip of cloth on his head. The scarlet throne mark in between his eyebrows was revealed. It looked very alluring and beautiful, even more gorgeous than blood. It made his delicate face gain a demonic charm. Within Xiao Chen's sea of consciousness, the Scarlet Throne started to flare up. Strands of red light came from within it. He finally used his true trump card, the State of Massacre from the Scarlet Throne. A red light flashed in Xiao Chen's eyes. The State of Massacre gradually infused into the Lunar Shadow Saber in his hand. Strands of red lines that spiraled around the saber slowly appeared. The white-clothed girl's emotionless face finally revealed an expression of shock for the first time, she felt a trace of fear. Hu Kai. Xiao Chen pushed off the water surface heavily. He merged his state of thunder together with the state of massacre, charging forward with a boundless killing intent. The girl had a cautious expression as the lunar shadow saber in her hand exploded forth with light. She sent out many resplendent purple saber chi, trying to stop Xiao Chen from advancing. Break. Xiao Chen shouted and a saber light flashed, breaking the sharp saber chi sent by the white-clothed girl-like snapping dead branches off a tree, blasting them into nothing. Xiao Chen twisted his wrist and tilted his body to a side. Then, he pierced his saber towards the white-clothed girl's chest from a weird angle. Dang! The white-clothed girl used her saber to block the front of her chest. When the huge force struck the saber, she was sent flying, hurled a large distance back across the water. Xiao Chen had no intentions to spare the girl after gaining an advantage. He quickly rushed downward and relentlessly sent out all sorts of powerful attacks at her. Bang! 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 On the water surface, the white-clothed girl executed many of Xiao Chen's powerful techniques. However, 
After Xiao Chen used the state of massacre, they were meaningless, all of them were broken easily. As each one was broken, the white-clothed girl kept retreating backward. Her originally solid body started to turn indistinct, giving one the impression of an illusion. They were already approaching the end of the fight. If the white-clothed girl had not fired out a multitude of moves, she would have been completely defeated by Xiao Chen. However, even though the fight was at its end, she did not acknowledge her allegiance to Xiao Chen. Instead, she did all she could to resist Xiao Chen's moves. Xiao Chen lost all his patience. He no longer wished to drag this fight out. He only wanted to obtain the Lunar Shadow Saber in the girl's hand and quickly awaken Ao Zhao. Just as Xiao Chen was about to make his killing blow, a strong aura came from the water surface. It was earth-shattering and overwhelming as it spread throughout this space. This aura managed to completely suppress Xiao Chen's and the white-clothed girl's state of thunder in an instant. Even Xiao Chen's state of massacre was affected and could not be used normally. A huge whirlpool appeared in the center of the lake. After a while, a huge pillar of water rushed up into the sky. The pillar of water was more than 500 meters tall. The splashes it created fell like rain on the lake's surface. A petite figure was standing on the top of the water pillar. It was Ao Zhao, who had awakened. Ao Zhao slowly floated down from the top of the water pillar. Her voice came from above, Xiao Chen, don't kill her. Now that Ao Zhao had spoken, naturally, Xiao Chen would not kill the girl. He withdrew his saber and retreated. Then, he looked at Ao Zhao, who was slowly descending. He said, Ao Zhao, what's going on? Why are there two weapon spirits in the Lunar Shadow Saber? Ao Zhao was about to say something when she saw the throne mark on Xiao Chen's forehead. Her expression immediately changed and she said, wait for a while, I will explain it to you in detail. At that time, you have to explain the massacre thrown on your forehead to me as well. Kai. After Ao Zhao spoke, she looked at the white-clothed girl and stretched out her hand and pointed at her. Xiao Che only saw the girl turning fainter and more indistinct. The lunar shadow saber fell from the girl's hands and the indistinct girl slowly sank into the depth of the lake. Xu. Ao Zhao stretched out her hand and grabbed the lunar shadow saber. Boom. The surging water pillar suddenly crashed down. Waves rippled on the surface of the lake for a long time before they slowly calmed down. We will speak when we get to shore. After Ao Zhao spoke, she pushed off the water and headed to the shore. When Xiao Chen heard Ao Zhao's words, he did not say anything and quickly followed after her. The two of them went to a rock at the side of the lake and looked for a clean spot to sit on. The lake's surface was gleaming, reflecting the bright moonlight. The waves from earlier had calmed down. Under the moonlight, it was quiet and peaceful. Ao Zhao smiled gently and said, All right, idiot master, you may now ask any questions you have. Xiao Chen smiled softly. Ao Zhao is still the same as before, completely showing no regard for me at all. Not caring for the master before her. However, her attitude was much easier to get along with than the earlier white-clothed girl. Her tone sounded more like the casual callings of a spoiled child. Xiao Chen organized his thoughts for a moment before asking, let's start with the earlier girl in white. How did she become the weapon spirit of the Lunar Shadow Saber? Furthermore, why does she not recognize me as her master? Ao Zhao smiled charmingly and said, this is a long story. I can tell it to you in detail. However, I will only say it once. If you do not understand, that is too bad. Don't ask me again. Ao Zhao said that she would only explain once, this meant that she really would only explain it once. Xiao Chen could not do anything except perk his ears up to listen carefully. The forging method and the materials of the Lunar Shadow Saber were all top quality. However, the conditions for forming a weapon spirit are too harsh. 
I originally that it would be impossible for the lunar shadow saber to form its own weapon spirit. So I sealed myself in there. However, the situation exceeded my expectations. While I was asleep, a weapon spirit started to slowly form in the lunar shadow saber. It has been in a state of coexistence with me. Although I had sealed myself at that time, I could split out a portion of my strength to suppress her and not let her obtain control. However, after Lu Ruyu forcefully awakened me the last time, I exhausted too much of my strength. I entered into a state of deep sleep and she seized control. If it were not for your big fight with her, causing her to expend too much strength, it would have required a long time for me to awaken. Xiao Chen was enlightened, so that was why. He had felt that it was strange. Without Zhao's strength, how could she allow another to become the saber spirit of the lunar shadow saber? Then why does she not recognize me as master? Furthermore, she seemed quite hostile to me. Ao Zhao explained, all weapon spirits are like that. This is the protection mechanism of weapon spirits. When I was first born, the Thunder Emperor was an eyesore to me, as well. If you do not have great strength, how could a weapon spirit recognize you as master? However, once they recognize a master, the weapon spirit will be absolutely loyal. They will never betray you. Xiao Chen felt doubtful and said, In that case, what exactly is the relationship between you and me? You are much stronger than me. Doesn't that mean I would not truly be your master for a very long time? When Ao Zhao heard this, she said happily, that's right. So, idiot master, you better become stronger quickly. If you cannot even protect me, how can you become my master? Xiao Chen was speechless. Based on the strength Ao Zhao had shown, she was at least a superior grade martial monarch. Xiao Chen did not know how long would it take for him to achieve such strength. Seeing Xiao Chen deep in thought, Ao Zhao laughed and said, Get up, idiot master. With ambition, there is no need to fear the heights of heaven. Don't overthink this. I will first merge the saber spirit with the lunar shadow saber in your hand. Then you will be able to achieve listening to the sword and communicating with it. Xiao Chen got up and took a look at the lunar shadow saber in Ao Zhao's hands. He asked with some disbelief, that simple. One had to know that Lu Ruyu had spent a lot of effort to help Xiao Chen grasp listening to the sword and communicating with it. However, after all that effort, he would only able to catch a glimpse of it and was unable to get a complete grasp of it. Ao Zhao smiled and said, that little girl's method was correct. However, she did not anticipate that there was another weapon spirit in there. Weapon spirits have an innate self-protection mechanism. Hence, she has rejected your call and caused you to be unable to grasp listening to the sword and communicating with it. No wonder I kept feeling I was on the verge of grasping listening to the sword and communicating with it, but unable to break through it. So, it is because I was prevented from doing so. Hu Kai. Ao Zhao swung her hand up and the long lunar shadow saber flew quickly toward the boundless sky. Spots of purple light revolved around it. Under the moonlight, it was extremely beautiful. The saber flew higher and higher. Soon, all Xiao Chen can see was a blurry black spot. Xiao Chen looked up and said, where is it flying? How is it going to merge like that? Ao Zhao said, of course it is flying to the real world. Otherwise, how is it going to merge? In the inner space of the lunar shadow saber. All right, when you go out, you will immediately understand the mysteries behind it. It is time you tell me about the massacre throne. Xiao Chen withdrew his gaze and thought for a while before deciding to tell it as it was. There was no need to hide anything from Ao Zhao. After Xiao Chen told Ao Zhao everything that happened in the Ink Forest, he asked, Ao Zhao, is there anything wrong with this Scarlet Throne? After Ao Zhao heard everything, she pondered for a moment before answering, there isn't really anything wrong with it. The massacre throne was something personally refined by the ancient evil king. 
However, before he was killed, he split the throne into six parts. Each throne represented a state. They were the states of massacre, ruin, destruction, anger, berserk, and death. Legend has it that when the six thrones era assembled together, the ancient evil king would return once again. Xiao Chen muttered, so you are saying there are five more of these thrones, and I only obtained one. What should I do if I meet another person with one of these thrones? Ao Zhao nodded, that would be the crux of the problem. As long as two cultivators with the thrones are within 500 kilometers of each other, they would be able to sense each other's presence. The thrones were originally one and they would be able to swallow each other up. After swallowing another, its might would be stronger. Even without Ao Zhao explaining so much, Xiao Chen could understand how much stronger the throne would become. One throne represented a state. Grasping two high-leveled states at the same time, the increase in might went without saying. Xiao Chen was not afraid of competition with others. He was only worried about what Ao Zhao said about the return of the evil king, he felt it was somewhat strange. However reliable is this legend. It has been at least 30,000 years since the ancient era. It is not possible for him to return, right? Xiao Chen asked doubtfully. The Tianwu era was founded 20,000 years ago and was destroyed 10,000 years ago, resulting in the current division of five nations. Of those, the Great Jin Nation was the greatest. Before the Tianwu era was the Chaotic Era. There were no proper records of the Chaotic Era in the history books. The true ancient era happened before the Chaotic Era. This was hard to imagine. Even a vast sea could turn into a dry field within 30,000 years. Could humans come back to life? Ao Zhao said, there is some reliability to this legend, but you don't have to be too worried about it. In the past 10,000 years, I have never heard of the six thrones all appearing together at the same time. There is no way it will coincidentally happen to you. Rumble. A loud screech came from the sky above. When Xiao Chen looked up, he saw that it was the lunar shadow saber flying to the edge of the space, striking the barrier continuously. Ao Zhao said softly, the lunar shadow saber is about to go out. You should go too. Remember to comprehend the listening to the sword and communicating with it properly after you go out. This is only the entry level. Xiao Chen felt that there were still many things he had not said. He quickly thought for a moment and only said the thing that he felt was most important, am I able to call out to you at will in the future? Ao Zhao shook her head and said, no, I have to make use of this opportunity to completely swallow up that white clothed weapon spirit, lest it cause problems in the future. Don't forget, my goal is to forge a sub-divine weapon. I am currently far from being anywhere close. Back in the real world, within the dueling grounds, the saber formation had never stopped shaking. The lunar shadow saber beside Xiao Chen leapt up and struggled free of the constraints of its scabbard. Then, it flew into the air and floated about 100 meters above Xiao Chen. It was giving off a bright light, and looked quite beautiful. Lu Sufeng asked in shock, Sis, what's going on? Why did the lunar shadow saber fly out on its own? Lu Ruyu also revealed a doubtful expression. She shook her head and said, I am not sure myself. However, I feel that this is a good thing. I can feel some excitement from the lunar shadow saber, like it is anticipating something. As the two were speaking, a light came out from Xiao Chen's head. Then, it quickly infused into the lunar shadow saber. Shu. Suddenly, Xiao Chen opened his eyes and leapt up. He moved like a flood dragon and grasped the hilt of the lunar shadow saber with one hand. Listening to the sword and communicating with it, Xiao Chen shouted and brandished his saber. The snow-white lunar shadow saber immediately gave off a drawn-out hum. The saber trembled relentlessly and there was a flash of light. The snow-white saber turned pitch black. It actually advanced from an Earth-ranked spirit weapon to an inferior-grade Heaven-ranked spirit weapon. 
Xiao Chen held the lunar shadow saber as he landed on the ground. He revealed a joyful expression. The lunar shadow saber had finally found its voice. Xiao Chen did not expect after using the listening to the sword and communicating with it, he would be able to restore the rank of the lunar shadow saber. Hu Kai. Xiao Chen flicked his wrist gently and circulated some of his essence, immediately sending some energy to the sharp saber. A strand of incredibly dense purple saber chi left the saber. It created ripples in the air as it sliced it apart. After it landed on the ground, it left a long scar. Bang! 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 After the saber chi stopped, the boards by the scar were immediately kicked up and exploded into powder. Lu Sufeng cried out in astonishment, what a strong force. This is the lunar shadow saber's original power. It seems much stronger than a regular heaven-ranked spirit weapon. Furthermore, this was just a casual swing. Xiao Chen waved his hand casually and the scabbard laying back within the saber formation returned to his hand. Then, he dissipated the state of listening to the sword and communicating with it. The pitch black saber turned snow white again, returning to being an earth-ranked spirit weapon. Xiao Chen had just comprehended listening to the sword and communicating with it. He was not able to maintain the state for a long time. However, now that he had grasped it, he believed that his improvements would be fast. Xiao Chen sheathed the saber and looked at Lu Ruyu, who was walking over with a smile. Xiao Chen said sincerely, Ruyu, thank you. Lu Ruyu was feeling happy for Xiao Chen from the bottom of her heart. She said seriously, congratulations. You've finally grasped listening to the sword and communicating with it. Back in Qingyan Peak, in Xiao Chen's courtyard, a cool breeze blew in the yard, sweeping up some of the fallen leaves. Xiao Chen closed his eyes and immersed himself in the profound state. He had a calm expression as he placed his right hand on the saber hilt. He completely ignored his body's aura. Xiao Chen simply allowed the cool wind in the yard and his aura to move around freely. They moved up and down, left and right, moving exactly as he willed them to. Suddenly, Xiao Chen opened his eyes and a bright light shot out of them. They were like a sharp saber, piercing through everything before him. Ka Ca. The instant the lunar shadow saber was drawn, listening to the sword and communicating with it was executed. The snow white saber turned pitch black. The special characteristic of a heaven ranked spirit weapon was activated. The instant the saber was drawn, even without essence circulating, the sharp saber blade sent out a drawn out saber chi automatically. With a shoo sound, it turned several fallen leaves in the cool breeze into dust. Listening to the sword and communicating with it had a total of four states. Listening to the sword, controlling the sword, sword heart, and communicating with the sword. Xiao Chen was currently in the state of listening to the sword. This allowed him to completely understand his weapon. This was a fantastic feeling. Xiao Chen felt as though the lunar shadow saber in his hand was an extension of his arm. Xiao Chen could feel every pulse of the lunar shadow saber, like there was blood flowing within it. Of course, it was not really blood, but the spiritual energy flowing within it. No matter how strong a person was, if they had not comprehended listening to the sword and communicating with it, they would never be able to feel the pulse of a saber. When Xiao Chen slowly poured in his essence, he could clearly see his purple essence flowing within the veins of the saber. With a thought, the saber immediately lit up with a bright purple light. Withdraw. With another thought, the purple saber light ceased. There were no delays at all, the movement of essence was much faster than before. When Xiao Chen stopped listening to the sword and communicating with it, the lunar shadow saber turned snow white again. Xiao Chen used listening to the sword and communicating with it repeatedly in this manner. Earlier, in the dueling ground, Xiao Chen had left immediately after Lu Ruyu spoke to him. Xiao Chen felt there was something wrong. However, he did not know what was wrong. 
so he did not have any intention to continue staying at the dueling grounds. Instead, he directly went back to his courtyard to practice this listening to the sword and communicating with it. If Xiao Chen could quickly master the state of listening to the sword, he would be able to enter the state of controlling the sword. That would be very helpful in a fight. Xiao Chen practiced until it was dusk. He only stopped practicing after Xiao Bai returned. Xiao Chen saw that Xiao Bai's previously unkempt hair was done up very nicely now. Her hair now parted in the middle and had two pigtails. The back of Xiao Bai's hair was tied up in a complicated fashion and ended with a green hair clip. This completely brought out her delicate qualities, completely concealing the seductive side of her. It looked like Xiao Meng had put in a lot of effort into this. Xiao Bai stood at the side and smiled gently, Elder brother Xiao Chen, are you practicing? Xiao Bai wants to practice too. After I practice, I can protect elder brother Xiao Chen. When Xiao Chen heard that, he thought it would be good, too. After a spirit beast changed form, they could cultivate the cultivation techniques and martial techniques of humans. It was necessary to teach her some martial techniques to protect herself. Xiao Chen had many spirit weapons that he had looted from the Zhang clan treasury in his universe ring. He took them out all one by one. There were long sabers, twin sabers, short swords, twin swords, treasured swords, and many other types. Choose a weapon first. Just pick whatever you like. After that, I will give you a relevant martial technique. Xiao Bai looked around in the large pile of spirit weapons. Eventually, she picked a two fingers wide and 1.7 meters long sword. This sword was called Heavenly Water, and it was a superior grade profound rank spirit weapon. Elder brother Xiao Chen, I choose this, Xiao Bai said happily. Xiao Chen frowned slightly, he had hoped Xiao Bai would choose a saber. That way, it would be easy for him to find martial techniques. The huge heavenly saber pavilion may lack a lot of things, but the one thing it did not lack was all sorts of saber techniques. Furthermore, the Heavenly Saber Pavilion was a place where sabers reigned supreme. To a certain degree, swords could be said to be a forbidden item here. Even the Heavenly Saber Pavilion's pavilion master whose name once resounded everywhere under the heavens only used a sword he carved out of wood when he cultivated the sword in his later years. Suddenly, Xiao Chen's eyes lit up. He remembered that aside from the dragon and tiger body sculpting art and great dragon tiger fist, that pavilion master had also left behind a heart-nourishing universe sword. Coincidentally, Xiao Chen could give it to Xiao Bai to use. He rummaged in his universe ring for a while before finding that book of heart-nourishing universe sword in a corner of the universe ring. Xiao Chen handed over the secret manual and said, This secret manual is for you. Take it and read it first. If there is anything you do not understand, you can come and ask me. The Heart Nourishing Universe Sword was also a peak earth ranked sword technique. Compared to Xiao Chen's Wukui Saber technique, it was very similar in might. After all, the martial techniques the previous pavilion master used would not be something that could be found at a flea market. Xiao Bai received it happily. She smiled and said, Thank you, elder brother Xiao Chen. I will go and read it now and learn it within two days. At that time, I will be able to protect elder brother Xiao Chen. Xiao Chen watched as Xiao Bai left. He revealed a faint smile on his face, this girl is too naive. Xiao Chen had taken a look at the heart nourishing universe sword before. There was a total of 13 moves. Each move was harder than the last. Its difficulty was similar to the Wukui Saber techniques. Back then, Xiao Chen had spent three days before he was able to learn the first three foundational moves of the Wukui Saber technique. Even until now, he is not very familiar with the eighth moves yet. He did not even have any thoughts on practicing the ninth move. How could it be possible for Xiao Bai to learn all 13 moves of the heart-nourishing universe sword within two days? 
Time slowly passed in monotony. Xiao Chen would practice the Wukui saber technique in the morning, and listening to the sword and communicating with it in the afternoon. At night, he would cultivate the purple thunder divine incantation, making preparations to break through to the sixth layer. Time was very tight. Unless Xiao Chen needed to rest in order to prevent his fatigue from causing any problems, he would spend all his time on practicing or cultivating. Xiao Chen put in all this effort, all for the end of year inner disciple ranking war taking place one month from now. This was so that Xiao Chen could be ready for any unexpected situations, to obtain first place for Qingyan Peak, and to repay Lu Ruyu's kindness. Six days later, Xiao Chen was practicing the Wukui Saber Technique's eighth move, Wukui Reveals Heaven. He had been having trouble merging the state and mysterious phenomenon, preventing it from reaching great perfection. Elder Brother Xiao Chen, I have learned the heart-nourishing universe sword, Xiao Bai said in high spirits as she rushed over to Xiao Chen. When Xiao Chen heard this, he felt absolutely flabbergasted. It was impossible. He had never heard of anyone learning a peak earth ranked martial technique within six days before. Demonstrate it for me to see. Xiao Chen decided to verify the truth of it. Xiao Bai nodded eagerly and drew the heavenly water sword. She brandished her sword and her petite exquisite figure quickly moved around in the forest. Following that, Xiao Bai exhibited the heart nourishing universe sword in the forest. Instantly, the natural laws seemed to become slightly distorted as the sword moved around. The surrounding trees actually started to move around strangely. However, these trees were as full of vitality as they had before, this was not a mysterious phenomenon. It was like there were huge changes in the world, space had distorted and created such an effect. Xiao Chen's expression started to turn grave. He saw a faint blurry light appear at Xiao Bai's navel as the sword light moved around. The shape of the light seemed to be the silhouette of a small sword. Sword heart. Xiao Chen exclaimed in shock. Qian was heaven and Kun was earth. When the heart nourishing universe sword was executed, it infused the heaven and earth into the sword technique. TL note. The universe in the heart nourishing universe sword is Chankin in the Ra's. This word has a few meanings, one is universe, basically consisting of the heaven and earth. Another is yin-yang, because heaven and earth are opposites. The universe in the universe ring is Chankin as well. Every move contained the natural laws, and contained the heavenly Tao's. When practiced to great perfection, they could reverse heaven and earth, truly changing the natural laws. However, the crux of the of the heart nourishing universe sword was focused on the two words, nourishing heart. The so-called, nourishing heart, meant using the power of the universe to temper out an unrivaled and matchlessly sharp sword heart. As far as Xiao Chen knew, the number of people who could practice the heart nourishing universe sword to great perfection were few. However, there were some sword sages who managed to achieve it. They were able to cause the rivers to flow backward with one strike, tear through space and make mountains spin. However, aside from the person who made this sword technique, Xiao Chen had never heard of anyone successfully tempering a sword heart using this sword technique. The 13 moves of the heart nourishing universe sword were all executed by Xiao Bai in one go. Sword Qi moved all over the forest, causing a countless amount of leaves to fall. Xiao Bai withdrew her sword and sheathed it. The feeling of distorted space in the forest immediately disappeared. Then, she looked at Xiao Chen's sullen expression. Xiao Bai said somewhat nervously, Elder brother Xiao Chen, is Xiao Bai stupid? I said I will learn it in two days. In the end, it took Xiao Bai six days to do so. Furthermore, it feels like Xiao Bai still has not brought out its full strength. Xiao Chen smiled bitterly to himself, if this is considered stupid, then what exactly are all those, genius cultivators? This sword technique was only considered to be at the entry level. This was because the area Xiao Bai could influence with the state of universe was only limited to 10 meters around her. 
According to the records on the sword technique, when a martial saint used the heart-nourishing universe sword and practiced it to great perfection, they would be able to influence an area of 500 meters around them. Xiao Bai was far from achieving that. Furthermore, she had not infused it with its state. Thus, the might of this sword technique was greatly reduced. However, Xiao Bai was able to learn all 13 moves in 6 days, and use them in one go, even comprehending her sword heart. Such talent was simply horrifying. All Xiao Bai lacked now was maturity and the comprehension of her own state. At that time, the might of this sword technique would reach great perfection. Xiao Chen said softly, you are not stupid, this is pretty good already. However, you have to continue to work hard. Grow more mature slowly. Xiao Bai smiled happily and said, really? Then when can I be as powerful as elder brother Xiao Chen? By then, when there are bad guys, there will not be any need for elder brother Xiao Chen to make a move. Xiao Bai will help you to chase them away. Xiao Chen smiled speechlessly. He said to himself in his heart, how can I allow Xiao Bai be the one to protect me? Be it logic or emotional, this should not happen. Letting Xiao Bai practice martial techniques is all for her own sake. As for Xiao Bai's future, Xiao Chen already had a rough plan in mind. However, he had not told her about it yet. You should go back first, don't overthink this. Remember, do not let others see you practicing the sword, Xiao Cheng said. Practicing the sword was a taboo in the Heavenly Saber Pavilion, after all. Xiao Bai nodded and left, feeling delighted, she was clearly in high spirits. After Xiao Chen saw Xiao Bai left, he withdrew his gaze and said, Xiao Bai is so amazing. I need to put in more effort so as to not fall behind her. I must completely grasp Wukui reveals heaven. Three days later, Lu Sufeng came to Xiao Chen's courtyard and told him a piece of shocking news. After Xiao Chen heard the news, he felt very suspicious. He asked, you said that the end of year ranking wars taking place in the middle of next month will be delayed. How come? Lu Sufeng seemed somewhat confused, too. He kept scratching his head as he said, I am not sure why, either. The elders assembly did not give a reason. The end of year inner disciple ranking wars has been a tradition since the founding of the Heavenly Saber Pavilion. In the past 10,000 years, unless there was something major, I have never of the ranking wars being delayed. The once a year inner disciple ranking wars of the Heavenly Saber Pavilion did not just function to check on the inner disciples cultivation for the year and maintain a certain level of competitiveness between disciples. The most important thing was, the Heavenly Saber Pavilion would make use of this opportunity to show off their strength to the rest of the world, preserving their reputation as the top sect in the Zaihe province. Every year, during the Inner Disciple Ranking Wars, the Heavenly Saber Pavilion would send out invitations to all the great powers and talented youths in the Zaihe province, they would even invite the court officials. Their purpose in doing so was to demonstrate the might of the Heavenly Saber Pavilion, maintaining its reputation. If the Heavenly Saber Pavilion suddenly delayed the end of year inner disciple ranking wars, it could cause people to think that the Heavenly Saber Pavilion was not able to produce any decent inner disciples, thus delaying the ranking wars.